Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 22 of my Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play like it's 2010 again. And oh boy, am I feeling like a kid playing Minecraft in 2010 because of what happened in last episode. I didn't find one dungeon in last episode. I didn't find two dungeons in last episode. I didn't just find three dungeons in last episode. And I'll tell you what. I sure as heck didn't just find four dungeons in last episode. No, we found even more. If you want to find out what happened last episode, you, I know it's a long one, but go back and watch it. It's going to be very important. It's going to be a pivotal point in this series because we're moving down here. Yeah, we're moving our operations down here. At least our main home base, we're moving it down here. I'm serious, guys. Go back and watch last episode. Pretend episode 21 is basically episode one of this series because everything from this point on is going to change. Welcome back. If you went and watched episode 21, if you didn't, then ignore all that. But seriously, go, go, go watch it. I'll give you a second to click on it. Here we go. You're clicking on it. I'm just kidding. Okay, so we need to get dripped out, guys. We don't have anything. We lost our pants, right? Like, we lost our pants. This is not great. This is good, and this is not great. I really want respiration. So my plan for today's episode, I do want to get to work on all this stuff. I'm, 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 I'm more excited to do this than I have been to do anything in Minecraft in like, I don't know, longer than I can truly remember. And I'm not just saying that to like hype things up. Like I truly cannot remember a time when I was more excited to do something inside of Minecraft. The possibilities here are absolutely endless, and I want to make them... I, I, I have so many cool ideas, right? Before I went to bed last night, or before I fell asleep last night, I was thinking of some really cool things that we could do with this. And to do that, I really need a gold farm because I want to add a bunch of like gold block trim and stuff like that. I also want to get a resource pack, I think, that makes tinted glass a little bit more see-through. I, I might be able to edit that myself. We'll see. Um just so that I can kind of see the spawners better because I want to surround them with tinted glass, right? We're going to have all of these. Basically, this whole area is going to be dug out. So all eight of the spawners or seven of the spawners or six of the spawners, I don't even remember. So we have... Oh, that's right. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Your pants broke and you need better armor. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I, I know that. I know that. Jeez. Go check out... Oh, that's right. That's what I was excited about. Okay, I'll explain in a second. This whole area needs to be excavated to a point where you can see the dungeons from one spot. I agree. So we'll excavate this giant room. It's going to be a very large undertaking. We'll potentially be streaming this tomorrow. So this will this episode will come out Sunday. And I'll probably be live streaming sometime on Monday just digging. Like, we're just going to be digging. We're not going to do anything exciting. And uh, I'll upload that to the channel after the fact so that you guys don't miss it. But we're literally just going to be digging. So for those of you who like to watch me just uh, talk for hours and do random stuff, that's going to be a good episode for you. So let me explain here. I'm in this dungeon because I was going to clear out all the chests and stuff. And I don't even think I got to... Uh, I got to. Oh, I did clear them all out. And uh, I, I heard a bunch of zombies, right? Or no, I heard a bunch of skeletons, right? And I'm like, okay, you know what? I got to check. Like, the luck has been a little bit too unreal. And so I come up in here, and they're in here somewhere. You know, I'm in here trying to find the cave, as I typically do. I'm like, where is the cave? Where is the cave? And uh, it turns out the cave was right here in front of me. And there's, like, you know, a couple skellies in here. I'm like, oh, man, it's a dungeon. So I keep going a little bit further. I keep going a little bit further. And this thing is just filled to the brim with mobs because we've been in this area for so long. Uh, but then I go back here, and as I'm leaving, I hear a bunch of zombies above my head. Now, I don't hear them right now, but this was the spot. I heard a bunch of zombies. And I'm trying to listen. I don't quite hear anything. But let me stand here and see if they'll spawn. Because if, if zombies, for some reason, spawn right above my head, then there's a dungeon here. And if there's a dungeon here, dude... Oh, are we about to break a record? Okay, well, it's only one, and I don't know exactly where they are, but I only hear one. We'll at least dig to find this one. And I hear water. I don't know if that's this water. I got, I got to I got to remove the water. I need to be able to hear, like, perfectly. It is, like, right in this direction. Or right there. Yes, dude, please! Oh, do you hear all that? Do you hear all that? Oh, I can't. What? 
Oh. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. Not. Not. Not this early. It's like nine in the morning, and I'm already about to pass out, dude. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? What? Okay. 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 I first of all, I need to turn hostile creatures down a little bit. I love you rumbling, rumbling and grumbling, but not in my ear that loudly. Dude, I'm <laughs> What are the chances of this? The fact that I stumbled upon this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a dungeon. Come on down. Oh, you guys really spawned in there, huh? Oh, look at me. I'm getting kind of skilled. Not a not a not even a little lick of damage. Nothing. And cap it off. So, how, could we have even found this if we hadn't per, like by chance heard some zombies? Cause I'm like, I'm like on edge now. If I hear, yeah, this is like literally a nothing cave. And one of these may potentially be one of those extended caves. Yeah, see, sometimes if you dig at the end of a cave, even if it's a little one, there's always a, like a little, yeah, see? Like it'll try to connect, but the world gen is a little weird and sometimes it doesn't. So keep that in mind, guys. Like look at this giant area of the cave. See, we would have found it right here. There was two exposed cobblestone pieces. So I guess all we had to do really was keep exploring. I don't have any torches, but guys, come on. <laughs> what are the chances? Of it? We'll, we'll just let all that stuff despawn. So this is, I, I have the coordinates on my phone and I guess we need to write the coordinates. This. How could we make this one visible from this dungeon over there? I, I see the thing is, is I, I don't know. This may be so far away that it is kind of useless, but that's kind of why I need to see all the coordinates together so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna dig this out we still have the haste beacon like affecting us right here so i'm just gonna like dig a path out so that hopefully i end up in that little room that we've dug out and i can see this because that would be amazing if i could see this dungeon uh from down in there because i'm gonna forget about this one i don't i don't know but i think this is the eighth dungeon within a like a 100 by 100 area. I don't know if that's a record. I tried to look it up after the episode and I couldn't find a clear answer, but we may actually have a world record with this seed. So if you want to if you want to see the seed, there it is 33913483411550038103810. So if you want to go on this seed, you can. I don't remember exactly what I typed to get it. I think this may have been like a true random seed where I didn't like type anything for it i don't know but i'm gonna dig this tunnel out till i reach my main base i just want to be able to see this spawner from uh from like my main area because dude like uh, the chance of this happening like the chance of me just like finding this are actually kind of unreal i am going to take a few of these torches because i was literally i heard skeletons i want to make sure everything's lit up around here because we're going to be living in here and this is right next to where i'm going to be digging out right next to my base i hear zombies i don't want to find it off camera so i come back and oh dude oh it's just i'm just happy when things like that work out because sometimes you know it could have just been you know maybe just some zombies there or something you know that just spawned randomly it didn't have to be a dungeon but yeah i'm gonna dig i'll come back when i uh hopefully reach the base Okay, well, we reached the geode, and I'll say that's good enough. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to dig out this geode, like, entirely. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to dig out quite a big area. I don't, I don't, I don't exactly know how much we're going to have to dig out, but we're going to have to dig out, like, a very, very large area. Um, no, we can't exactly see the spawner from here, but I'm going to call it good. Um, you know, maybe if you stand, like, over here, you could see it. <laughs> maybe. I don't know, the, the, the angle's a little bit off, but at least we know that it's up there. Okay. <laughs> so there's one, okay, for those of you who didn't see the last episode, there's one up there. So one, two, three, right? And then over here is the fourth, right up in there. That's the fourth one. And then, I know, this is unbelievable. So we have four counted so far. Over here is the fifth one. And then right down here is the sixth one. And then I'm off over exploring over here and we find the seventh one. Yeah, there is eight. And then I'm in this cave, right? 
and I, I hear a zombie. I think there might be a dungeon. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm not pushing my luck. And there's the eighth one. <laughs> now, I haven't looked around much more. I'm kind of afraid because I don't want to find, I don't want to find a ninth dungeon. Like, I, I'd love to go for 10 and really make a world record, but like, I'm good. I'm good with this. I don't even know if this one will be included in our base because it is really far away. But all of those will dig out like a big cubic area, right? So a big area that's just like a large cubic space. We'll surround all of those with tinted glass. And that's where we're going to kind of settle underground. Now, I need to think of like a build palette theme because I want it to be really unique. I want it to be really cool. And I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but I do know I want to include a lot of gold trim. So we need a gold farm. Uh, to get a gold, and, and I also want netherite armor. Like, I want to be completely dripped out when we come down here. Now, the problem being, I don't feel comfortable going to the bastions to get the things that you need to make netherite uh, ingots now. I think you need, like, a... I don't even know, man, but we'll figure it out. But you have to go to bastions, and, like, this armor is not going to cut it. It's just, it's just not going to cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go to my end XP farm, get a ton of end XP... Um, and I believe one of these is rare items, and I think that's where we're putting these. Yeah, it is. Cool. So we have five of those. Nice. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take these. I don't really need this. I don't, I don't even know. Where do we put the other... Sure. <laughs> that seems like the correct spot, totally. Uh, can I fly up here? Oh, yay! I hit the ladder. Let's go, dude. Nice. Well, why? Oh, it looked washed out because I was inside of this beacon. I was like, my game is bugging out because it looks really bad. So I'm going to fly. I believe it's over somewhat in this direction. And I'm going to go and just get a bunch of XP. So I'm going to watch YouTube grind out some XP. Um, oh, we have iron too. We can make a nice rail system. Dude, I'm so... Because we're going to need a lot of rails, right? To go, to, to go between all those dungeons. I know they're not close enough where you can stand in between all of them, but you can make a rail system that stays near the spawner long enough to spawn them and then goes to the next one. And it's actually really like more efficient than you would think. And it's crazy, right? Cause we already found double dungeons. Our original like spawn, like on the first or second episode, we found double dungeons. So it's it, the fact that we found an eight, I know septuple is seven octuple dungeons, octu octuple dungeons. <laughs> It's kind of wild. Oh, I'm, st I'm still in a little bit of shock, a little bit of disbelief. Okay, anyways, I'll come back whenever I'm at the XP farm and I'm about to leave. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I hesitate to say there's any new viewers on this series because of this happening. I hope there is, and I hope if if you enjoyed the content, you'll subscribe. But I don't know. I feel like that really is something that I need people in the community to see, dude. Eight dungeons is absolutely unbelievable. It gets unbelievable. I'm sure people have gone around and creative and found more, right? But in a survival world, just finding them, I don't think that that's happened before. And I've been playing Minecraft now for 14, 14 years. So since 2010. That's a long time. That's a long time. And it's taken me that long. And I've played a lot of survival, man. I've played a lot of survival. So if you haven't seen the end XP form, oh my gosh. It is right over here using a really crazy method with these leaves. They pack spawn onto these planks right here. You look at them and you don't even need an endermite or anything. You literally just stare at them and hit. That's all you gotta do. You just like stare at them like that. You wanna get it right in the middle and not move your mouse. And then you just click. And entity cramming. Aw, oh, see they hit me and I don't know if I'm staring exactly in the right spot anymore. Eh, it should be okay. <laughs> all right, I'll come back when I got a bunch of XP. See, the entity cramming starts killing them, and since you've already hit a few of them, it just goes crazy. Okay, I think I have enough XP. I'll kill what's in here, I guess, and then we're going to go get some nice enchants on this armor. Head to the nether. We have more than enough gunpowder. Like, more than enough gunpowder to make an absolute ton of TNT. And we can get some ancient debris. And then hopefully start doing a little bit of building in the new area. Now, obviously, you saw how close this uh, this new area is to our old area. So it's like, it, it's not far at all. Um, oh, I guess we're going to spawn in it. 
uh, which is a good thing, right? I mean, I didn't want to have to, like, go a, a long, long distance. And this is actually really nice because I can just, like, fly up the ladder. Which is so strange that you can do that. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, so our so you can see the CBC SOG is just right there. So it's like super duper close. We're not we're not far at all from our old base, which I'm really happy about. I didn't want to be too far, but also I love living underground. I love this area, but I love living underground. I also love the way that thing looks. It's so clean. So much better than how it looked before. That is for dang sure. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we don't we don't need all these ender pearls, so we're just gonna airdrop some uh some ender pearls to these uh, nice villagers here hopefully they can make good use of all the ender pearls look at all look, look at them free ender pearls for life um i may make some fletching tables so that i can get a bunch of emeralds and stuff like that for whenever we want to put mending on our armor um i'm still kind of like in between having mending on the armor but i also want to have like an actual really good world and i don't want to worry about dying from I don't know, because we're not on hardcore. Maybe on hardcore, I'd be more opposed to putting mending on armor, but at this point, I think it's okay. So, this is our enchanting area. I love this enchanting area. I guess we'll build another one at some point. I, I don't know. Um, but I do know that it should be in resources, right? That would be where our diamonds are, yes. And then we're going to need the wood chest out of here, okay? It may, may not need... Well, actually, we're not making any tools. Never mind. Never mind, good sir. Go back up. Go back. Go back to where you came from, Mr. Woodchest. I don't even know where this one was. We'll put it over there. Um. Okay. So, our chest plate is not that great. We'll probably just unenchant it and then add mending. These are great, but I would prefer to have unbreaking. We're just going to take off all the armor, and then we don't have a pair of pants at all. So let's go ahead and strip what we want to strip, which is this. Hmm. I may make a chest plate like this and then see if we can combine it. But like these, this is good. We, we have more diamonds. Hold on. I'm just going to go. Oh, I'm just going to go grab some more diamonds because I would prefer to keep like I really like Depth Strider and we have protection four, and the chances of that appearing on the same pair of boots again is probably somewhat rare. And we have more than enough diamonds to spare. Really? Where did all of our diamonds go? Because I know we had a lot, and I don't think we've been using them that haphazardly. But maybe we have. Hmm. Did I maybe put the diamonds? Are, are they in here for some reason? There is a good chance that they're in here. Let's check. This is why I wanted a central storage area, too, because the, the storage is just getting... The storage situation is getting a little crazy. I guess I took them out of here. This is super weird, because I swear that I had so many diamonds. I had, like, a stack and a half, maybe. And, hey, I don't mind going and, and getting some diamonds. Like, I don't, I don't mind that at all. I just thought, you know, maybe we have some more. Is there... Are they in this chest? Like, right here? Because I remember there being some in here. Wait. Oh, we already have a pair of boots we could use to do that with. Oh, okay. And that's already mending protection four. So I, I don't really care about that. The helmet's fine. Um. Well, I want unbreaking. See, I want... I need more diamonds real quick. Hold on. This is not good. How do we run out of diamonds? Out of all the things to run out of, it's diamonds. I imagine that we could find some diamonds pretty quickly. So let's put on some clothes and let's just go in a cave because I know I feel like I don't know but I feel like actually what am I doing we could just go back to our to our big big area no we don't want to mine well mining there may actually be a good idea I know I'm all over the place I'm just trying to decide where do I want to mine and I think the, the you know the place with all the dungeons there was a big cave that I did not explore like a huge part of it so let's go grab this or did we already put up our wood? Yes, we did. But we need coal. We need coal. We need a lot of coal. And we do need the wood chest out of here. And I'll put both of these back in here because I don't want to... You know, I don't... I don't. I doubt I end up using... Again, I'm only getting diamonds. So I think this should be okay. If we leave these two guys here, maybe we'll put them back in here. And then we'll take one of these out. Because maybe we want to keep that there. I think that's kind of a good spot for one. And I guess we... Hold on. I know. I know. I know. 
See, when I get excited, I, I get all over the place. I do like write down what I'm doing so I don't forget either. We're gonna take a stack of fireworks out because we're gonna want those. Okay, now we're good. I know we had the inner chest with us, but it seems like it's easier just to do it there. Okay, so. We need more diamonds so that we can make a few things. We have like two pairs of chest plates. We I want to get another pair. I want to get another helmet is what I want. If I get another helmet, that will make things so, so much easier. So let's go in here and I'll meet you guys when I'm down there because I got to go down this ladder. There's also no way to get in there. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, let me go down. Well, I wasn't paying attention going down the ladder and I realized that this ladder is somewhat useless in its current state because you just end up at this little hole here. So let me fix this out a little bit. I mean, the whole area is going to be dug out. I don't even know why I'm bothering, but just for now, just for now. And then there's a ladder to go down here, which I guess takes you to the bottom of the beacon, which was there in case we needed to make it bigger. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're also going to want to dig this out to be a little bit lower, right? If this is our actual like floor, the problem is like once we surround this, you want to have, I think, four blocks on each side, right? So it'll end up being like a nine by nine cube with the dungeon in the very middle. I think for maximum efficiency, it's four blocks on, on all sides. I don't know. I'll look it up before I do it because we're going to be doing it eight times, um, which means it'll have to be like this will be the bottom of the tinted glass for this one. So this whole thing is going to have to be quite a bit larger, if that makes sense. So we'll have to dig this down probably like three, four, five, six, maybe seven more, something like that. So the big cave was over here. Now this doesn't have looting on it. See that 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 was kind of the problem is here. Let me pull out my like tools chest. I don't remember. No, actually I do think I kept the yeah, I did keep this one. So this one's the fortune three. Okay, good. I'm glad I kept that because I was worried I didn't. This one has silk touch, which is helpful for like mining this. Uh, but for other cases, oh, but for other cases, it's not too helpful. But it is good to be able to mine the inventory management system, which I may rename one of the ender chests that, but then you can't stack them. That's why I just kept it like that. But I think they're super cool to have like a portable little inventory with you is nice. And you don't lose everything. If you put your diamonds in that and you die, it's fine. It's, it's linked up in the ender network of, of greatness. So I believe over here is where, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm glad we came over here because we hadn't explored this like at all. And if we find a dungeon over here, we're just going to not, uh, you know what I mean? It's, this would be too far. This, this already in and of itself is like, yeah, it's just way too far. But I do want to be very good about lighting it all up because this is going to be near. Our, oh, wow. Oh, it fell onto a spike. That's not good. Uh, just because it's going to be somewhat close to our base. I don't really want to deal. Oh, look at nice little exposed geode. Nice. Love to see it. Is it a big one? Um, no, that might actually be the smallest geode I've ever seen. But hey, it's an exposed geode. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be upset about it. I am gonna put this on for uh, for protection. It only has protection three, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I feel like it's really dark in here. It's not. It's just because it's so big. I wish there was like a torch gun or something. Or like a way you could throw torches, so you could put them on the walls. I've been playing a lot of Deep Rock Galactic recently, and so that's uh, that's something you can do. You can throw flares, and one of the characters in that game has like a flare gun, so you can like shoot it and light up a big area. That'd be nice, you know. And I feel like that's probably in a mod, more than likely. That would be something. I feel like because they made the cave so big, that would be super helpful. Um. What Y level are we at? Oh, we're only at negative 18. We need to go lower because I think the diamond spawn rate just goes up the lower you go. So this would be like ideal diamond finding territory. And technically, you don't find as many diamonds looking in exposed areas. But if we can find a water cave down here, we do have... Well, I thought we used to have respiration. We don't anymore. So maybe it wouldn't be the best idea. Go in a big water cave, but technically water is an air, and and so it it spawns them more commonly. I don't know, it's weird, but it it does work. Water caves are a great way to find a lot of diamonds really quickly. We only need to find like a couple of veins. I'm not I'm not looking for something crazy. 
And it seems like when you're not looking for them, you find them all the time. Just the way it is. Just the way it is. I guess you can... <laughs> You know, I was just talking about, you, you could you could throw a torch with, you know, Optifine, but I'm talking about in the default game. Now, I think this area of the world is just absolutely cracked, because there was a big iron ore vein right there, and then there's a big iron ore vein right there. I feel like that's not super common. I don't know. Maybe it is. Well, we've already been down here? When did we come down here? Oh, this is where we ended up with the water. Oh, maybe that's the same iron ore vein then. Yeah, it just goes up the wall a little bit. All right, well, I'll come back when I find diamonds. We're not going to be doing like a lot of caving in today's episode um, until we get to the nether and we start using some TNT. It's going to be a good episode, though. It's going to be a good episode. We're going to get a lot done. A lot of preparations done. Oh, there's the big iron ore vein that I was talking about. I don't know if it's the same one necessarily, but looks like it. It's such a nice cave really is. I kind of want to fly through it, but it's a little bit dangerous with all the spikes. Okay, I'll come back if I find diamonds. I'm just going to be uh, running around like a goofball for a bit. Hey, just looked over here. Maybe it's just one. I don't know. Nope, more than one. That's good. And I'll, I'll like actually break them into the, the diamond form whenever we're done. I mean, I, I feel like if I get like eight ore, that should be enough for a few helmets. I'm kind of the expert at making creepers pre-explode like that. Seems like I, I I don't get hurt very often. It's kind of fun. Okay, diamond find number two. And this might be the contender for the biggest cave I've ever found. Because I... I mean, I feel like I've found a lot of caves. Uh, but with the new update, you know, sometimes you think you find a big cave. And then you find a cave like this. And like, dude. I can't even explain how big this thing is. So I don't even know where I am. I do know that there is like, and I, I try to make it as good for the viewer as possible, you know, with the torches and stuff. But, oh, there's some more diamonds. Torches don't do it justice. Like I can't, we're in like a little sub part of the cave. Wait, we have five. We'll go for like a little bit more, but then it's going deeper. It's like, dude, come on. How big is this? <laughs> I really would like an ultimate sword, too, that we could put mending on. Oh, man. I want... I have so many things that I want to do. We already used a stack of torches just running around being a, being a little goober here. Look, see, this is, like, the main part of the cave, and then it's, like, there's sub-caves in the main cave. And, like, I don't know how to get back home. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. Usually, I'm pretty confident about, like, like, spatial awareness and knowing where I am and stuff. I've lost all that in this cave. This cave is, has taken it all away from me, but given me eight dungeons in return, so maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little ungrateful here. Oh, look, another little cave in the cave, leading back to the main cave. Ugh. Oh yeah, and remember we found this earlier, I think. Isn't this where we had flown in and we saw there was a mine shaft in here and I said how much I like the new mine shafts? Can you got I'm trying to talk to the viewers about the mine shaft. Can you Cease and desist, good sir. Another one, okay. Okay. Either pack spawn or there's a dungeon up here. Uh, there's not a dungeon up here, so. Yeah. See, I think everything's a dungeon now. Is that the ancient city that. Okay, well, I, I feel like I should be more excited when I find an ancient city, but I'm just really not. I don't. The loot in them is just not worth. <gasps> ah, dude, this is the. Wait, so this cave is so big that it connects to the cave that's under our main base. And let me prove it to you and show you. Because maybe there are some new viewers after this uh, 8 Dungeon special. I, I, you know, I haven't really grown as a channel in so long. And you know, a lot of it's my own fault for not producing exciting content, I guess. And, and not sticking with the times of... But let me just prove to you that this is where my main uh, base is. Well, my ex-main base. Um, so right over here, there'll be a little turn. This is crazy. The fact that I didn't explore, if I had explored that, I would have changed the, the whole like name of the game. So right here, or somewhere near here. No, this is, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on, that's, that's part of the spawner system. Over here, yes, yes. So there's two dungeons, right? So there's one in here. There's one in here, up there, as you can see, right? Does it make sense now? This is the double dungeon area. 
Yes, there's one there. There's one there. And then down in here. Or somewhere. I don't know exactly where I think it here. Yes, down in here is my old uh, my old double dungeon spawner. So is there anything in here that we forgot about? I mean, probably not. But hey, we could. I was thinking we're getting kind of low on arrows. And one of these. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Do we have anything in... Pink shulker box. Uh, then maybe building. I don't know where my oh anvils are in here. So we'll we'll call this one uh, the kill kill box, and we'll put like TNT in it, stuff like that. Arrows. I mainly want to fill it with arrows for now. So we'll take like as many as we can get out of here. Well, it's not very many. Let me clear out this stuff because I know I don't. I know. I know. I, I don't need all that stuff, though. I have a lot of amethyst already. Six rockets I could do without. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. Now we should be able to fill it up. We already, I guess, took the arrows out and put them somewhere else. I don't even know where. Okay. Well, now all of these are filled up. Put the anvil back. Okay. Boom, boom. Nice. Dude, this is so cool having this inventory with us. Okay, so yes, I, I proved a point to you guys. Now I gotta make the long trek back. Did I fill in the ceiling where I broke through? I did not. Uh, well, that's always great. And I threw back the one thing I need. And okay, I'm a mess. I am truly a mess. I am a mess. Okay, I'll put this up there. Where? There we go. But yeah, this thing works really well. And this is a double dungeon spawner. Granted, they're pretty close. But they're like as close as the three. Sorry, you, you hear my puppy, Hazel. If you want to follow me on Instagram at the Neo Cubist, feel free, you can. And you can see pictures of the dog making noises in all these videos. She's very cute, but she's only three months old, almost four months. So she's just very much so a baby. And she's uh, entertaining herself on the ground with, uh, what's see, what toy do we have? Nope, she's just laying on her back with her paws in the air, growling. <laughs> That's, uh, how it would be to be a dog, right? You could entertain yourself with just the simplest of methods. Just lay on the ground and roll around and growl. And you're happy. She's wagging her tail. This makes it so much easier, the elytra. But at the same time, when you go blind in here, you go really blind. And you, like, can't see. And I have a feeling the elytra makes noises... I also feel like this chest would be really good. Smithing table, ward armor trim. Loyalty one. These things just look cool. These are cool. Music disc fragment. We get, we'll take the lead. We'll take the coal. Can we, is there another one of these we could just fly to? And like, just kind of steal the chest from? Because I think the actual place I want to go back to is over in here. No, over there. Like where we were looking into this thing. Maybe it's just over in that direction. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, where did we just find this from? Because we were looking around. This might spawn the warden. Uh, no, it, it'll, it, you get like three chances or something, I think. It's this thing that can even spawn it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you ain't spawn. Oh, we got silk touch. We can pick these things up. Yeah, dude, these things look so cool. I'm definitely going to mine a few of these, just so we can look at them. We can make a museum, okay? Nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'll fly around here a little bit. It's just, it's kind of scary to fly in here. Uh, can we make it? We can make it. But is there stuff up here? There's a bunch of books. Soul torches are cool. We haven't made those before, I guess. There is something up here, and there's wool to land on. Soft landing. I was hoping for some diamonds, man, or at least some emeralds. Regeneration 2. Diamond horse armor is pretty good. Some soul torches. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like the end city is definitely cool in practice, but they didn't, like, in my opinion, this is all my opinion. Yeah, it was right over here. Uh, I don't think they fleshed it out enough. Like, I mean, there's some cool loot there, but they need, dude, they need to add that dimension in the portal. Why did they build? I know they built that portal with the intention of eventually adding some sort of dimension relating to uh, 
the warden. But I don't know at what point they're going to do that. Also, skeletons having the high ground, not fun. But that's cool that we found out the cave is connected. That's really cool. Also, there's a big geode up there. Is that a big one or a small one? Let's let's go see. Big one or a small one? How are you sized? You're decent. You're decent. Good medium. Maybe that's a big one. I don't know. I, I'm not the uh, end all be all judge of geode size here. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna be looking for diamonds. I'll come back when I find them. Bro, I I kid you not. Where'd all the arrows go? Oh, I didn't put any in my inventory. No. Okay, I kid you not, there's literally like, there was four skeletons I was going to come back and show you, and I was like, that's not enough. And then I come over here, and there's like, I don't know, I guess there was a total of eight. Okay, that's not that impressive. I don't know, man. Maybe there's a dungeon over here. I'm getting absolutely wrecked. I hate skeletons. They're my mortal enemy. No diamonds. Oh, another skeleton. Is there a dungeon? No. You know, I have a strange feeling about this, uh... You, you, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to hear the squeak, but it's okay. I have a strange feeling about this this wall here. You know what I mean? This does not seem like a natural... Like, what... what... What is this? Okay, thank you, good sir. Very good job. Is this like a stronghold or something? What is this wall? Why is it so big? Do you see this? Like, this is not a normal thing, I don't think. I I don't I don't know, but this doesn't seem normal. We're all the way. Wow. Okay. All the way up to where it's uh stone. I wanted to look at this wall. Oh come on! I'm getting bullied. I'm getting bullied. I'm getting shot from all angles now. Okay, okay. We'll go in this. We'll go in this. Okay, come in one by one and I kill you. Any more? No, I thought so. Jeez, dude. Can't catch a break. Also, let's clean our inventory. <laughs> this is crazy. We got all this stuff. I know a lot of it could be uh, shulker boxed up. And you know what? Sure. Somehow we have the cherry wood again. Okay. Let's fix our inventory situation. So I know we have some rare... I want the kill box. I need arrows. I cannot forget that. We need some arrows. Uh, rare items. I know that I have a bunch of those. This seems rare. Those seem rare. Candles, I guess, are rare. That's rare. That's rare. That's rare. Okay. Now our inventory... Is, we have two diamonds plus five or it could be 15. Could be 15. Probably won't be, but it could be technically. Okay, well, let's go investigate that wall. Because again, I have no idea what is go dude. How many more skeletons are gonna be in this cave? It's a skelevasion. A skelevasion. Yeah, I don't know, man, because this I can't recall another time I've seen like a flat structure like this inside. And I don't think there's anything in it. No, there's nothing in it. What are you doing? This dog's up to no good. This dog's up to no good, I can tell. Yeah, I don't know, because I guess it ends right there. I have no idea. Let's just dig into it, because I'm curious. We'll see if there's something in there. Maybe a bunch of diamonds? Because this has only been on 1.20. This isn't like some weird chunk error or something. So let me dig, see if I find anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything in here. I've... No, there's probably not. Okay. Back to the search for diamonds. I'll quit bothering you guys. What is going on with this world? That is so weird. That is so weird. I mean, maybe it's not that weird, but it feels weird. <laughs> you know what's crazy? So this is where I came back and I was talking about the skeletons, right? I'm just walking by here and I see this. I'm like, no way, dude. So th this is obviously way too far, but now we found nine dungeons and, and two episodes. If you want the coordinates of this uh, cool dungeon, it's right here. Yeah, it's like over 200 blocks away, but... Very interesting. Always to mark the occasion. A little golden apple. A little golden apple. Nice. Nothing else in here I want. No. Okay. Just wanted to show that off. <laughs> it's like not even a big deal now to find one, I feel like. Okay. Well, I guess we're back into this area of the cave. I didn't find a lot more diamonds, but it's honestly okay. We'll mine these with the fortune pickaxe and see what we got. Sure. We'll spread them out a little bit. Let's see. What do we get? 
Hopefully at least enough to make a helmet. Yeah, I, 13. I guess we got what? We have two. So we got 11. So we got like an average of two from each, which is perfectly fine. Okay, let's take out our tools chest. Put up the seven dungeons. We need to rename that to eight dungeons, right? Put this bad boy up. Okay, let's go make some armor. So I'll meet you guys over at the enchantment area. And we'll see what we can cook up. Hopefully something pretty good. I got a good feeling about this. I had to make a quick little pit stop to sleep. And let's see what we can cook up. So we were trying to make a helmet that whole time. We were trying to make a helmet. Okay. So we wanted unbreaking three on the helmet. That is what we need. That's our objective. Unbreaking three helmet. At least the first objective. Can we get unbreaking three, please? I will take respiration any day. But the problem is if I combine these, I can make another helmet. I can make another helmet. Hold on. But then we can't make another pair of anything. Do we need a pair of anything else? I don't think so. Maybe. No, we already have an extra pair of boots. Okay. Unbreaking three, please. Yes, that's literally exactly what we need. Okay. Okay. Let's hop out of here. Let's see. Is this going to be really expensive to combine though? That costs 16. That costs eight. So that's protection four, respiration three, mending. That is super helpful. And then I'm breaking three costs seven. Okay, we're already at 41, but that's the perfect helmet. Uh, Depth Strider three, protection four. I thought we had mending on one of the boots. That's blast protection for you. We don't want that. Yeah, no, 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 we just need mending on, I don't know, we just need unbreaking on the boots. That's all we need now, it's just unbreaking on the boots, okay. That's not unbreaking, but it's close. It's close. I'm not going to discredit you, Minecraft. It is close to unbreaking three. Wow, okay. It gave us exactly what we wanted. We don't even have to touch these old boots. Okay, and now we just need... Oh, we don't have that many levels left, do we? Just a protection three is fine. Oh, that's actually... That's literally perfect. Okay, and then the pants, please... Ah, uh, we only have 29 levels left. And we only have a breaking three. Okay, we gotta go to the end. <laughs> I thought I, I thought 60 levels. Surely that would be enough. I thought 60 levels would be enough. So protection four, depth strider three, respiration three. They're all protection four, which is good. But this, the pants, the pants ain't gonna cut it. Do we have another pair of pants that we potentially did not use? that have a good level of protection. Oh, wow, these have feather falling four, but that takes away... Wait, I thought you couldn't have protection and feather falling. Wait, can we can we, can we we add this to our current boots? Is that gonna... See, I feel like it takes it away. I, I think that can only occur like in the end ship. No, you can have feather falling on it. And depth strider and feather falling. Does it take away anything? No, it doesn't. We're definitely doing that. I know it was expensive, but having feather... F I, I didn't know you could combine those. I think that's a newer thing. But our pants, still, we don't have anything good on them. So let's go to the end. I'm going to grab a bunch of XP, and then I'll come back and meet you guys here. We have the diamonds to do it. We just need to, you know, unenchant that, put mending on it. We'll have to get mending for all these things, but we can get that pretty easily. And I'm going to go play with the dog, because she needs to be played with. Apparently. I'll be back. Okay, that is more than enough, and I do realize that I think, well, Hazel is asleep now, so we don't have to hear the barking, uh, but I'm pretty sure the last time I slept was in the castle bed, which is, it works in our favor. I was actually about to say that kind of sucks, but no, that's actually a good thing, because we need to go ahead and champ. 54 levels should be good. I don't know if the Enderman XP farm works as well as the one in the video. I modified it quite a bit. Yes, we are right here. Nice. Oh, and there's the junk I threw out. Great. I was hoping you guys wouldn't see that. Sometimes the elytra doesn't work. I don't know. Mojang's strange. The, I, I wish... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. Oh, I left this here? That's not good. All right. So what did I want to do? I don't even remember what I was doing, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> I don't... It, because this is protection four and breaking three. The pants. The pants. It's all about the pants. Okay. Can I click on this from here? Can I click on it from here? Yeah, I can. Let's go. Okay, so the pants are bad. So remember that. Bad pants. Bad pants. That's... Isn't that literally the exact same enchant? 
Maybe it's bugged out. Maybe it's bugged out. So I'm going to make... Oh my gosh, the same thing again? If it's three times in a row, then I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. That's terrible. Um, We're going to make a bunch of fletching villagers. We're just using fletching tables. There we go. That's perfect. That's all I want. So we need four, bo three books of mending. Okay. It all has protection for. So we're, we're in a good spot with this armor. Uh, the extra armor, which I'm not sure what we'll need it for, but it's probably a good idea, right? To have like a little bit of extra armor and, oh, just, just pants and boots, I guess. Just pants and boots. Interesting. I'm going to take out my wood chest because I need to grab a bunch of wood because we're going to be making a bunch of sticks. I don't even know how to make a fletching table. Fletch. Fletching table. It's flint. Okay. Well, we'll have to go get some flint. Um, I want to put the diamonds up, which means we need the resources chest, which is here. Diamonds. I'm going to make sure to put the lapis in the right spot. There we go. In the right spot. Also, maybe a good idea to have... Sure. We'll just throw that in there. Uh, just any, any little extra stuff. I don't think I need sticks or... I, I don't know why there's lanterns in there. I'm going to go ahead and say torches should go in the wood chest because I, I feel like I associate those at least with wood, but you may not. I don't know. It's my chest, so I'm going to put them in there. <clears throat> and then this is like a rare item. Yeah, that's I'd say those are pretty rare. I don't know about an armor stand being a rare item. Not so sure about that one, but you know what? We could just put that like right there. There we go. Uh, maybe, maybe change the angle a little bit. Sure, that's perfect. Okay, put all these bad boys up. I don't know. Don't ask me why I put Don't, don't. Just don't. Sometimes I do things. I don't know. Okay, and then everything is nice and organized. So we need flint, which I probably have a bunch of in my actual house. So let's go over there. Okay, I'm going to trade for a bunch of emeralds. Oh, that's what I am doing at the moment. So that I can put mending on all my stuff. Then we can go to the nether. Uh, with a bunch of TNT. We need. We can't forget the TNT. We need a bunch of TNT. We're going to try to upgrade this stuff to netherite in this episode. Will it happen? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll try, though. I don't even know where would flint be. We have eight flint. That's... You know what? It is it is what it is. I'm going to have to take out my tools chest to get fortune three out. Does this have fortune three? Does this have fortune? This has fortune three already. Let's go. Nice. That's actually literally perfect. Okay. Now we can get a bunch of flint really quickly. I also don't know why it lags here. I don't know if it's my simulation distance. Entity render distance at 100%. It always like lags in here. It lags when I like look down over there, but the cows are over there. So what is down here that's making it lag? I don't know. The The latest versions of Minecraft, like, performance-wise... That's another thing about... I, I told you guys last episode, I've been playing a lot of beta 1.7.3. And one thing about that is that there was no lag. Like, I mean, not really. Uh, I get, like, 900 FPS with the furthest render distance on the old versions. Like, and then this, I get, like, 60. It's just, like, it's weird. I don't know. I'm not sure how they went backwards with performance, but they did. They definitely did. That's so a little bit of a fumble on Mojang's part. But I understand they got to do parity between the versions and all that fancy schmancy stuff. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't want to sound like a big complainer. Uh, it still performs fine. Like, I can still obviously play it. I mean, look at me now. Playing just fine. So we'll trade sticks in here. Let me just go ahead and, like, make as many sticks as I physically can. Which, you can't really hold that many sticks. Just because they're, they're very, uh... They're very spacious, and I think it's like 32 sticks per emerald. Okay, so we'll just put a bunch of these down. Mm, sure, I don't even care where they are. You guys, come take these jobs, please. Okay, we have our first, our first candidates. That's not the right enchant. Is this not the right? Okay, this is the right person. Now, someone said you could press, like, click on here and then press space to make it go quickly. Shift and space? I don't know. Oh, you press space on this. What? So you press space on the stick. Um. I don't even know. <laughs> Why? Why is that the one? I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to get a bunch of emeralds. I'll come back in just a bit. Mission successful, though. We have great armor, which is good. That's what I was always worried about because my armor was 
severely lacking. Severely lacking. But yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of emeralds. I'll come back in a bit. Oh, see? Oh, I guess they literally tell you which ones want, uh... That's helpful. Oh, okay, I, I figured it out. Because someone explained it to me in the comment. Whoever it is, I, I, I think I would forgot who what your username was. But you just click space anywhere. And so you could just, like, click space and, like, hold down shift and then just click really fast. I, I don't know, it's super weird. Like, you wouldn't think that's, like, the way it works. But that is the way it works. Why is that the way it works? I don't know. But we'll put up all the wooden sticks. We said we were going to use dark oak wood, but I don't know if that's going to happen now because we're like completely out of it. Uh, we'll put fletching tables up here. I wish I could like package up villagers into an item and bring them with me. That would be kind of cool. Kind of evil, but kind of cool, right? Like, it'd be nice. Okay, let's go and grab a lot of books of mending. Um, it's, they're just good to have, like in general, I would say. So, hello, sir. I'm about to, I'm about to rock your world with these deals. There we go. There we go. That's a lot of mending. Probably more than I need. But hey, now we can put mending on what's most important to us. So let's go in the rare items. Grab our an anvil. I don't know why they're in there. Okay, I don't know. Um, This is a nice bow. I do like it. So let's mend it. Um, I definitely want to mend all my armor like off the bat. I don't, I don't want to deal with not having this being mending. Okay. So we'll mend this up. This already has mending. Mend that. So mending, mending, mending. This one needs mending. Okay, so now all of our armor and our elytra is mending. Okay. And then we have how many books left? We have two. So I would say <clears throat> this isn't really the best sword, but we could go and try to make the sword better. Oh, this already has mending on it. I completely forgot. I don't really care about these tools so much. I want sweeping edge three. That's what I really want. So let's go see. Maybe we can get that. Maybe we can get Sweeping Edge 3 on a sword real quick. You know, it is possible we could try to get it from one of these guys, but I, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Sometimes they're really temperamental and you go through like hundreds of enchant books until you get what you want. And I don't know if I have the patience right now. <gasps> I don't know if I have the patience. Okay, let me sleep and I'll go see if I can get Sweeping Edge 3. I promise, we're almost done enchanting. We're almost done. We just want to see if we can get Sweeping Edge 3. Uh, do we have two diamonds? If we do, they're going to be... Ah, yes, no, don't get out that. You have one here. I'm pretty sure... Well, there's a sword in there, but there's also this one here. And it's almost broken, which means maybe the game will feel bad and give me, like, an OP sword. Feel bad for me, please. Thank you for feeling bad for me. I appreciate it. Oh, this only has sharpness three? Wait, no, hold on. We can get up to sharpness five. Why do we have sharpness three? Brother, 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 brother. What am I doing? So now it says sharpness four. That costs 25. That costs 25. It's expensive. Ugh. Well, before we do that, let's at least see if maybe... We can take this off. I know this is looting three, but it's, it's not that great. And let's see if we can get another sharpness four. Mmm, <laughs> that's terrible. I love it. Okay, this will be fine. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, no, don't combine those. Okay, so we want sharpness four, I'm breaking three, sweeping edge three, looting three. That's perfect. 25, and then we'll add mending to it. That costs five. That's literally all of our levels. I'd say that's pretty good. It needs to be sharpness five, but we can add that at a later date. Um, this sword we'll just put in here. That, uh, again, I feel like it's good to have a few extra things with me. I did not put the books up. We'll put the books in here and then regret doing that and then be like, where did I put the books? Put the lapis up. Resources chest. We'll put the emeralds. Coal. Rare items to already have out. Put up the anvil. Mending is definitely rare. Okay, now my inventory is like actually clean for once. I'm going to keep out one particular chest, the kill box. And we are going to fill that up with TNT. Supposedly. Supposedly we're going to fill it up with TNT. You know, I, I don't know for sure. I do know I probably want to grab some of the rockets out of here. Just, 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 just a quick little top up. Just a quick little top up. Okay, we've got the kill box. Okay, everything is good. Let's go grab gunpowder. Yes, gunpowder. Can I make it up here? Uh, no. I have to go go do a little 
Go do a little fly around, a little flyby. Here we go. Now, I don't know how much gunpowder a man need. Oh. <laughs> maybe that much, maybe not that much. I don't think we have a lot of sand, okay? I don't remember if... This thing works great. <laughs> like, this thing really does work great. Uh, as I was saying, I'm not sure where a lot of sand is. I feel like... Can you make TNT with red sand? Hmm. I don't know. Can you? I have no idea. Let's fly over... Let's see, where am I going to end up at? I'm going to need to end up in the nether, which the portal's over here. So maybe we'll see if we can find sand, like... We need a lot of sand. Let's go near the end portal, because I believe that there is at least a red sand area, and I don't know. I don't want to say either way, but I'm pretty sure this all has mending. And this stuff has mending now too, and our bow. Dude, we're kind of we're kind of cracked out at the at the moment. I'd say we're doing pretty dang good. Oh, it's a good day, man. I'm gonna go work out later. It's only noon. I got up early, started working early. I don't know, people People get in those funks, and you guys heard, you know, what I had talked about in yesterday's episode, you know, the, the, the terrible news I'd gotten. That really wrecks you mentally, I think. Even if, you know, on the surface it doesn't seem like it, I think, you know, your subconscious brain does a lot of stuff that you just don't know about. And I feel like I'm finally... Oh, there we go. Is that just like a desert? Oh, nice. Okay. I'd say I'd found the red, but I didn't remember there being a desert. We'll go ahead and flatten out Mr. Island over here. I'm very sorry to do this to you. Um, I also don't really have any storage. I'm gonna need something to do this with. I'm gonna need like this first of all to make a crafting table. And then I'm going to need, I'll use jungle wood to make some chests. Cause a lot of this stuff is very big when it's not compacted like into what you're crafting it into. So we'll put these down and then we'll go ahead and just throw the rest of that back in there. That's fine. What I'm trying to say is that like TNT is one of those things where once you craft it, it's a lot more compact because like a whole grid of items goes into like one. Okay. And then we'll go on like the bottom layer of this. I don't, I don't know how deep the sandstone goes, but I'm going to be collecting sand. You don't want to watch this. Maybe you do, but I'm not going to let you watch it. I'm going to mine and watch YouTube. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, I wasn't paying attention at my my shovel broke. My efficiency shovel. The greatest shovel. I'm, I'm not super upset about losing a shovel. It's more so because I need the sand. And we have exactly zero XP levels. <laughs> uh, so we'll pick up we'll pick up what we can off the ground. I mean, we just... I, we, I haven't even deposited like an inventory full. So I don't know how much TNT this is. But usually, you know, the uh, bottleneck to our TNT operations, our TNT production is gunpowder and we definitely have enough gunpowder so let's see maybe we can still do something with this i don't know what the ratio is i have no idea so i'm just gonna grab a bunch of gunpowder and tnt okay so it's more gunpowder than sand that's i guess a good thing i don't know how much this is gonna be this is not really a lot is it we need a lot more than this I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky, right? We only need one, two, four, six. We need like six pieces. I oh, know you need six, six. We need six ingots, which means we need 24 ancient debris. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to go there and like, you know, do it halfway. I want. I, I want to go all the way. And I, that's, that ain't, that ain't all the way. That ain't all the way. So, luckily for you guys, I'm not going to show you anything else until I get back to this point with a nice shovel. And one of the greatest things is that we're literally right here. So, we can go get a bunch of XP. I'll make a new shovel. I'll come back there. I'll grab a bunch more gunpowder. We're going to have to, like, empty out a few shulkers and just, like, fill them with gunpowder and bring them over. I may make some more shulkers. Uh, it would be nice. I guess we could go grab a few. We got some really, really nice. We got I me mean, looting three, sweeping edge three. I think this will actually help me quite a bit. I didn't realize we only had sharpness three, but I guess it is the entity cramming that's killing the Enderman, but maybe this will be faster. Let, let, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. 
feel like you get to see me make the tool. I want to see you, like, I want you to actually see me use it. I feel like that's important. But it's tricky, right? You, you, oh my gosh, okay. We gotta, we gotta not go in so fast. You have to stand in the exact right spot, like right here. Look exactly in the middle. And then hopefully they don't hit you back, because if they do, sometimes it makes your aim a little bit off. No, they can't hit me here. So let's see, is this any better? As I think sweeping edge applies more damage. I don't think it makes you hit in a wider area. Oh yeah, dude, this is already so much better. And it's repair, look how fast it's repairing my sword. I'm gonna put my pickaxe in my offhand next. See, I'm not getting any levels. It's going all to my stuff. Okay, then we'll go ahead and repair this pickaxe. I guess we could hold the bow too. <laughs> like it's repairing both of them at the same time. Yeah, th I can already tell you this is working so much faster because I think we were reaching mob cap before. Because his design only has the Enderman fall in a one wide area. This is a three wide area. So I think therein lies the problem. The entity cramming wasn't killing them fast enough and I wasn't getting nearly enough XP. Well, I was getting enough XP, but not as much as he was getting. Yeah, this is so much better. Especially if I like hit quick like this, because my sword will never break. I could technically just like sit here for a long time and be fine. But now we're killing the Enderman faster than they can fall in here. Are we still aiming at the right spot? It's hard to see. I guess we are, I don't know. Okay, I'll come back in a bit. I was here just kind of like zoned out. I have so much XP. <laughs> Got 63 levels, so we don't even need to pick up all this stuff. But this works so much better. Like, this kills them so much faster. I did not realize we only had sharpness three the whole time. Dude, that's crazy. Look at all the ender pearls. We don't need the ender pearls, but look at all of them. They're so pretty. If only you could, like, make an ender block with them. You know what I mean? Like, Mojang, please give us a use. I know we can make blaze whatever. I. Do I really need these extra levels? Probably not. It'll be okay. I know. I shouldn't just destroy levels. I, I don't need them, man. I'm just... I'm out here. We're balling. Um, so we're we're doing all this to make a shovel. I said I wouldn't come back till I had the shovel, but you know you know how I am. At this point, if you don't... Wait, do we have enough time? I don't have an ender chest with me. Okay, well, this is a good... This is one of those good situations where I'm glad I have one down over here that I can pull one of my extras out. There we go, now we have an ender chest. But yes, I was gonna see, do we even have, oh, diamond shovel one. Wait, what are the enchants on that? What, we already. <laughs> uh, you do it for the thrill, you do it for the thrill. And let me tell you, that was, that was a thrill. Can we potentially make another one and like make the most OP one possible? We, oh, we can. But then we need our wood chest out, which our wood chest is back over in another location and we don't have any sticks, which means we have to go over here and mine a tree. Speed mine tree, speed mine tree. Quick as we can. This tree's been here since the beginning of the game and now it's not here anymore. Goodbye tree, I'm very sorry for you. We're gonna run over here and in the air, we're gonna craft the sticks. Glide back down with the momentum that we have. There we go. We're not gonna die, we're not gonna die, we're not gonna die. To be fair, we have feather falling I think four, I, I don't know if you can get Feather Falling five, but pretty sure that negates almost all fall damage, like for the most part. Look at this dude, we're, we're kind of a speed runner right now. Like we're a little bit of a speed runner. Let's see what we can, see what we can pull on this. Do you want Silk Touch with a, I mean, we would get efficiency five. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and take that. I mean, I guess you don't technically want Silk Touch if you're trying to get Flint, but how often do I, do I need Flint? I may regret this, but I don't know. That costs 13, that costs 11, and then we're going to mend our shovel. There we go. We don't have a mending axe yet, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. All right, let's pick all these bad boys up, and let's go back to the end area. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Before we do this, we need to, like, empty out some of the shulker boxes somehow. Like, so the living one, I can fill with it. There's a bunch of these that I can probably just, like, fill. How much tinted glass do I have left? Okay, it's not that much. But I can, see, I could fill that one. So what I'll do is I'll go up here real quick. And we still have the ender chest placed at the area we were getting sand from. So we're not, like, uh, actually, we haven't actually lost one. So I'm going to take out all of the shulker boxes. And we're just going to put them... I don't know, any, any anywhere they'll fit, to be honest. I don't know. 
and we're just going to fill them up with gunpowder. Because that's what we're waiting on. And you can hear the beautiful sound of creepers falling. Man, I love this world. It's such a nice world. Yeah, like the living chest has like nothing in it. And to be fair with you, I don't even know like how much gunpowder we even have stored up in here. I know it's a good bit. See, like there's cobblestone from probably when I died. There's so much stuff from like just when I died. Because I fell and I, I really died. Might actually get all the gunpowder. Might need to get some more. And the thing is, is this thing will never get filled with anything other than gunpowder again. The way that I built this means you can only get gunpowder. It's just a dream, baby. You're okay. You're okay, Hazel. It's just a dream. What just makes you feel so bad when they have a nightmare? Because they're just a pup, you know? The dogs don't know what a nightmare is. I don't know what they have nightmares about. I, I really don't know. Also, one of these has tinted glass in it. Can I... Swap for some leaves. Yeah, that that seems like a fair trade to me. Food, chest, everything's just getting jam-packed with gunpowder. We need all that we could get. I'm trying to go there with like a whole shulker box full, okay? A whole shulker box full. We're not trying to go there with just a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think we may have gotten all the gunpowder. Nope. <laughs> no, we did not. No, we did not. Fill up this. Fill up this. Even fill up the ender chest. At least we need a we need a we need one row in the ender chest, right? And then we can fill up our inventory too, but this may actually be all the gunpowder. Yep, I think we Yeah, we literally filled up all So that's all the gunpowder we we have. So we better not need more than that. I love these shulker boxes. I can't get over the shulker. Man, why did I wait so long to do this? I still have the lapis. I'm gonna make sure and put that up. We don't, we don't want the lapis. We need the lapis. Okay, leaves, I love you very much, but not right now. Uh, we'll take that away. We need to go put the lapis up. See, like, I, I feel like that would kill you if you fell that far. But I think it would take a really, really tall fall to actually kill you. Okay, now I'll go back to the end portal. I'll mine a bunch of sand off camera. We'll come back, we'll make a bunch of TNT. And then we should be in a position where we can go to the nether. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to do some bastions. Ooh, okay. That's kind of exciting. I haven't really done them in quite a while. And then we can hopefully make netherite armor. And then maybe get to working on the base a little bit. I don't know. I just really want a netherite pickaxe. I know it mines a little bit quicker than diamond. Not by a lot, but every little bit helps with that deep slate. Well, I've been kind of crafting as I go. And this is how much TNT we ended up with. So I think that'll fill up... Uh, at least our kill box, potentially. I don't know. We, we may have to end up putting a little bit more in another chest. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to carry on a bucket of water. I haven't used that in a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a lot of TNT. And we can just keep it in, in our inventory. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, the kill box is completely full of arrows. And we don't really have any other ones that aren't empty. So what I'm going to do is, you know, and this is the boom box, right? I mean, we, we could fill it up with someone in there. I'm, I'm kind of to the point where I want to go get another a few, uh, another few shulker boxes. I, I feel like that's a good idea, right? Like, oh, we didn't... <laughs> I guess I forgot that we had that. Okay, I, I did. I did forget that we had that. That's my bad. I am going to put these on the top row. Um, I don't know where to put this gunpowder. I, I, I guess, honestly, we could just... For now, let's just put all the TNT up. And by the way, if you hold a stack in your hand, hold down shift, and then double click on an item, I didn't know that was a thing, but you can move everything of a type at once. That makes things so much easier. So we'll leave that gunpowder there. Um, to be honest with you, I want to take this stuff. I want to put it in, in the bottom chest. I just feel like that's a better spot for it, right? Why do I feel that way? I, I don't know, but I feel like it's a better spot for it. I give up. We're just going to take it out. Put it in. Put it in. Take it out. Okay. That way we can break this top chest. And we'll leave the crafting table. And then we'll go ahead and take our shulker box. Okay. So let's go and let's make ourselves one more fancy schmancy shulker box. And before we do that, I do like how there's perfectly nine. But I think we can make an exemption. I mean, there is something like, like this chest, like for example. Like, why do we need to store like... We can put this in the wood chest for now. We don't even need to do all that. 
I've thought about it. We don't need to do it. We can put the this makes more sense to be in there anyways. And living will fill with TNT because you know that that totally makes sense. Okay, just making sure everything's nice and organized. Now let's go to the Nether. We don't need to go to the end anymore. We should be fine. Uh, we do want at least this out. Kind of, kind of cracks up that it's called living, and we'll take like a little bit out. I don't know how much we'll actually end up using. I guess we'll have to kind of figure it out, but I don't think we'll end up using as much as we're thinking. Okay, I'm gonna fly back to the base. I will meet you guys there. Okay, now we go to the nether. I feel like I should take a flint and steel or at least something to ignite the TNT. <laughs> Remember when I said I, I might need some some uh, flint? Well, we don't have flint anymore. This thing's also almost broken. We need to make sure we don't break that. I may have a flint and steel in here. Yeah, that we use for our nether portal. Nice. Dude, we had a bunch of diamond tools in here, man. I should have I should have kept this chest. Um, I should have kept this more organized. So, because I do, I, I do need to put an ender chest down at the spawn point so that we can have this accessible. Because this is super nice if we just have a bunch of extra tools in there. And then we can just like grab stuff when we spawn in if we forget our bed and we die. Having, you know, an extra elytra, stuff like that is a complete game changer. Okay, so as you guys know, our nether portal is over here. So let's go in here and let's see if we can find somewhere that has netherite. Now the problem with the nether, not really a problem, it's just the nature of the nether, is that most of it is straight lava. And uh, you don't want to dig under where lava is. So I'm going to try to find a spot that's like mostly solid land. Now, we haven't really explored this nether like at all. At least not very much. Is that? No, that's just like... The nether is so weird. Oh, the nether is so weird. Yeah, see, we're not having much luck. This is all more... Oh, that's another nether fortress. I am going to find this. Nether... Wastes? No, we're not going to change it. It's fine. Okay, maybe over here. Is it ambient? Environment? I, I feel like there's a good noise in there, though. I don't want to turn that down. The nether is just a little bit noisy. Okay. I just want to find a place where there's not lava under us. I think maybe in this direction. Is this lava over here, though? No, this this seems like it would be a great area, actually, to mine. Yeah, maybe even starting way back in here. So this isn't close, like, at all to where we were. But, like, that's okay. It doesn't really matter if we're close to that. I don't actually know the direction we were supposed to be mining. I think it was this way, right? There could be abandoned nether portals in the nether. I feel like that's almost like weird. Why would these be in here? Fire protection. Interesting. I guess that would be helpful if you got stuck. Well, here's a bastion. Maybe we should go try to do one of these first. We could definitely steal this gold. That's a lot of gold. Holy crap, that's a lot of gold. So I want to make a gold farm. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. That way we can do a bunch of gold trim. 15 gold blocks. And I'm pretty sure we can absolutely just destroy these guys. Because we have protection 4. And to my knowledge, I think protection 4 is pretty dang powerful. We're definitely killing them quick. That's for sure. Okay. How much damage do they do? Okay, they do like one hard damage. Uh, that's definitely better than uh, how it normally is. I'm going to get some building blocks. What in the world was... Did you guys hear that? What is... What was... What was that noise? It was like... Sound like they were boiling or something. So, I assume, like, you only need one upgrade, like, pattern thing? I have no idea how these work. Also, this is not the whole thing, is it? Is there more to it? Yes, there is more to it. We're at the bottom. Ah, okay. 
Yes, thank you, Lava. Appreciate the burn. So we need to go up there. Let's put this on. Not die. Oh, there's another Bastion right there. Well, it looks like we get to get our full Bastion experience in a... in a very short time period. Oh, I guess I need to fly over there. Okay. Now again, I know these are hard. I'm gonna try not to be too cocky and just run in here and go crazy on them. Um, an ancient debris. I did not know I could find those there. That's like super good. That's like super good. <laughs> Yeah, dude, they're getting wrecked. Ugh, can I like just dig into here? Is this uh, is this something you'll allow me to do? Good sir. Oh wow, this is uh, huh? Oh, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, you're not even supposed to be here. You're supposed to be somewhere else. Those things hit so hard. The big pig. The big nether pig. I don't mind the crossbow guys. The, the crossbow shoots so slow, they're pretty much useless. Bruh. Come on, dude. Okay. So everything's taken care of there. I, I don't know, like... Surely there's like a chest here. Maybe? I don't know. I, I don't like this style. I don't know where anything is. Do we need to go deeper maybe in here? I don't know. Let me... I don't know. I'll dig around and see if I can find it. Okay. Well, I do see something. Oh, is this one of those bastions? These ones are terrifying. And I also don't know how to find the gold in them. I know all the speedrunners know. But these ones are like terrifying. I don't know if there's going to be like chests in them. Why is there just lava? Is there supposed to be just like lava chilling in here like this? Wait. Okay, so this is up where we were. Oh, I see. So the paths are off to the side. Well, this stuff is cool because you can't really get it anywhere else to my knowledge. I don't know what the marker blocks are for where the gold is, but I think it's like a... Uh... Well, it's not glowstone. I don't know why that's in here. Odd. I guess it's generated inside. I will actually take that, though. I love glowstone. I feel like we have a bunch somewhere. Didn't we get a bunch? I don't know if we used it for something or not. And I think it's like blocks that have faces on them. Like the decorated blocks, I believe, that have gold. Like this stuff. No. Oh, brother. <laughs> I I really don't know. There's nothing spawning here. I don't like these because I don't I, I really don't know if there's chests. See, there's like a few gold blocks. That's fine. I don't know. I'm I'm not a big fan of these. I love bastions, but these kinds are just they feel a little useless to me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well we can get up this way just by take a bit it. Probably quicker than trying to run around. Maybe we can get out over here. Yeah, the game glitched for a second. I saw the lava. Okay, let's go over to this one. Better luck with these. I think these ones are significantly harder. Um, the big... I don't know. Are these, are these the treasure bastions? I have no idea. They all have all these fancy schmancy names. That looks like a death trap. I'm not landing there. I'll land right here at the edge of the lava. Make sure, verify we have our armor on. That is the last thing I want to do. Try to mess with these guys without armor on. Okay, so we're we're still we're, we're just looking for that upgrade thing. Mending crossbow. Okay. Now, how perhaps do we get over to here? Okay. This is a lot of face blocks of so one piece of gold. Oh, we have 21 gold blocks, man. We could just, like, go in here to get the gold, I feel like. Don't even need a gold farm. 
Okay, gotta love the lava. Oh my god, what? <laughs> well, hello guys. I didn't know you were uh, that excited to see me. Oh, that's, that's one of the hard ones. Where did you even come from? This is all lava. This is so much more difficult. This is almost the end. This is almost the end. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I fr I didn't sprint. I didn't sprint and then I lost all my stuff. So that's all my mending gear that I just got. All of my mending gear that I just got. And I'm super far away from the Nether. Um, there is no ender chest in here. I don't think I have any obsidian to craft one with. I don't even know how to get back to where we were. It's a long walk to get back there. I'm trying to think how I can handle this. I think I'm going to have to break... I think I'm going to have to break this bed, go into the end, right? And then... Oh. Okay, this is definitely a bad situation. <laughs> I did not expect to actually die in protection four. And I don't know how much of my stuff fell into the lava. Hopefully none of it. I don't know. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Okay, so if we go into here, right? Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? We go into here, and then we'll end up at our default spawn point. And then we can run, grab that ender chest. And then there should be an elytra in there. We don't have enough armor to make a full set. Oh, I really wish I would have put something here. Which direction is it? Ah, the, the messed up thing. Okay, I'm going to run back home. I'll meet you guys when I'm back at the, the I guess, enchanting area that has the ender chest. And then we'll, in, we'll be in a better situation then. But not a great one. I really shouldn't have done that. Okay, so I've eaten. I'm going to take some fireworks. I'm going to take an elytra. Uh, Whatever is the better sword. Knockback 2 is probably going to be helpful in this case. Uh, again, we just have pan or pants and a shirt. Uh, we may need diamonds. I'm not going to bring out that one. We may just bring out like a, just, just, just a, a decent miner. Um, we don't need a water bucket. What else do we really need? I mean, we don't really need anything else. I'm just trying to prepare for this as best I can. If we had a golden apple, that would be great. I'm going to bring an ender chest in case I need it. It doesn't matter if I die with an ender chest. I'm okay losing all this stuff. Okay, so let's... Oh, oh, we can't even wear... Oh, this is going to be a tricky... This is going to be a tricky situation. I have to fly back to where that was, and I legitimately have no idea. I'm not being dramatic. I, I'm not really a dramatic person, I don't think. But I don't know where that... I, I know the general direction, right? I know the general direction, okay? And we need to, we, we need to start cooking and, and going quickly. I mean, this elytra doesn't have infinite durability. So I know it's in this direction because we were looking for areas that didn't have a lot of lava. So we flew over here. I guess we just need to find that big square bastion. Yeah, but I don't remember seeing any of this when I was flying around. I do remember seeing more red forest, whatever it's called. Warped crimson, I don't know. Well, okay, wait, 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 wait. I do remember this. That It's right here. It's right here. Okay. Oh. I don't want to lose these shulker boxes. What am I doing? What am I doing? Before I even go back here, because the five-minute timer is not even close to being up. I got to put these up. If I can't get this back... I can't get this back, can I? I don't want to take... I don't want to lose that one tool. So we'll just leave that there. We'll come back on the, on the way back. Oh, I'm so nervous, dude. Okay, so we died. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we picked up. Is there more? There is more and a bunch of them. Oh, no, they're wearing my... Oh, dude, they're wearing my armor, I think. Um... This is tricky. They're wearing my armor? What? Okay, we at least got some of the mending tools back, but how do I get my armor back? Okay, one of them died, it looks like. Well, how did you get up here? No, 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 no. Fly, 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 fly. Okay. Oh my god, they're wearing my armor. <laughs> See, there's my mending piece, but then where where's the rest of my armor? 
It's being worn by random people. Why are there so many of those things up there all of a sudden? What is life? It's fine. I mean, it's completely fine. We can get everything back. It's just like... Excuse me, sir. I think you have the wrong piece of armor. Yes, that's, that's mine. I want those boots back. What? How did I die? Oh, because I don't have good armor on. Dude. And now I lost the other elytra. I got to chill for a minute. Okay. I don't know, man. This is just one of those situations where it's like, well, I guess at least all my gear is in one little spot down there, but the entities that are wearing my armor, they can't disappear. Like, entities that pick up items can't disappear, but if they're wearing armor, I think they can. It took me so many levels, and it took so long to get that armor. And we were finally about to go and get what we had been waiting to get this whole time. Ugh, okay, I'll walk back there. But there's no point in going to the ender chest, there's no elytra. And walking back to that spot will take forever. Like, forever. The, it, it takes, like, you know, 30 seconds of flight, 20 seconds of flight. But trying to do that with... Oh, I guess I'm glad at least I put up those shulker boxes. They have food in them, but, like... Oh, okay, I'll go back to the enchanting area, and I guess we'll stage up again. I, I'm not sure. I'm not feeling too great about it, though, dude. I'll be completely honest. I shouldn't have died there. but I mean, it's my fault, but I just shouldn't have... Ah, we're almost back home. Okay, well, we, we have this, and, I mean, there's a tools chest, and then... But, like, I don't think I have... I, I know I don't have another Elytra, so there's, there's no point... No point in me looking at all that stuff. This is Silk Touch. I guess we could, we could have used that one. Oh, we don't even have, like, a sword. Oh, we do have a sword. Okay. Dude, how am I supposed to walk all the way back there? Unless we have some decent building blocks. Like, we could build a cobbled deep slate. Do we have any random blocks just, like, strewn about somewhere, I guess? We'll take one ender chest. Sorry if I'm kind of like down right now. I, I didn't expect to lose all that stuff. I was so excited and happy about the armor we had gotten. Like it was really, really nice armor. And now I have to run all the way back there. And like I was already ready to like get on to building this base. I didn't want to have to spend an hour walking back there. It's like actually going to be an hour. But it's going to be a lot longer of a journey gonna be a lot longer it's like sleeting outside but it's 50 degrees outside it's super weird it's like raining but i guess it's cold enough high up in the atmosphere that it's freezing and then immediately on the ground it melts because 50 degrees i don't know let's let's just like take a peek in here maybe there's something that can help us i know there's not just gonna be an elytra but maybe there's like something i'm not remembering a, a dragon egg that's that's what we need. We, we need to take some of this stuff and we need to put these things in our rare shoulder box. We need to come here and just kind of sort it. How much? Oh, okay. I thought we had a bunch of gold blocks. Yeah, there's no tools or anything that's going to be useful. Okay. Well, we'll at least grab building blocks. It's like I said, it's, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a journey, dude. It's going to be a journey. I almost died there. Okay, well, I'm going to make my way over in that direction. I guess I'll come back when I get close. I don't know. It's just going to be a lot of building and walking, so see you in a bit. Okay, I just logged back in. I had to go away for like an hour and a half, two hours, and resume the recording. I was really mad, and I don't know if I was just in a bad mood or what, but I came back, I walked back, and I died again, and I'm... I was like, dude, I just, at this point, I want to be done recording. I'm done for today. And then I pushed through. I walked all the way back. And my stuff, by some miracle, most of my stuff was still there. So let's go through this. I have almost everything. The only thing I'm missing is my boots. I have the mending armor here, right? All mending. Nice, nice, nice. But my boots are garbage. I don't know what happened. But apparently the ones that were from that tools chest, the, you know, in the shulker box, had Depth Strider 3. So we're fine. All we need to do is get um, Unbreaking 4, or sorry, Protection 4 on them, and then Mending. And then we're good. That's all we need. Our pickaxe was here. Um, our good shovel was here. I actually didn't even find this. 
Um, and then, the, you know, the good axe was here. We never put mending on it. But everything's fine. Like, we're okay. We even have our nice jetpack. And, uh, yeah, it, it, literally everything's okay. I don't know why I was... I guess I was upset because after you die that many times, I, I couldn't record it. There's, I can only think of maybe a few times that I've been that upset at a video game in general. And I, th I feel like Minecraft's one of those games where it can make you really mad. Um, I also made this little impromptu base. I'm not dealing with dying again. I can't handle it. Um, now, one thing that I was thinking is we ha we don't we don't have a bed, right? We have nothing to make a bed with. Like, there's no way to make a bed. But I I think there's still a way I can make this work, and I still have gunpowder in there. I just realized. Oh no. Ugh. Um. Sorry, I was trying to organize this chest because, like, the tools should be in there. I, I guess we'll keep the flint and steel with us. Uh, the rest of the stuff should be in our inventory. I mean, this is fine. Like, if we lose this amount of TNT, I'm not really worried. But maybe just for right now, we put up the TNT. We, what's the point in losing it? You can see I killed quite a few of those big boys. I was mad, dude. Like, uh, I can't explain it. I, I I was not happy. I'm just very, I'm very glad we got our stuff back. I shouldn't have gotten that upset. It's still like sleeting outside. It's super weird. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to turn down ambi, ambient. Is there nether? There's got to be nether noises. All oh, nether waste. Additions loop. Okay. I don't even think we're in the nether. Waste mood. We'll mute that and put it at two. As much as I love them, I don't feel like. I don't even know. If... <laughs> I don't even know if those are. I don't even think those are them. Is that even the ambient? I I don't know. Whatever. It is. It is what it is. We tried. We tried. Okay. So we got mostly everything back. We can go ahead and put up all this stuff. This has silk touch. Yes, it does. Okay. Oh God, dude, that was a that was an adventure. When I died, like after I said I was gonna walk back and I had grabbed the stuff from the chest, you know, the last time you'd seen me, dude, I was seething and I fell off a bridge into lava. Can you imagine the anger? I didn't even die from something good. I just died from something stupid. I'm debating if I even want to go there. Like, is that a good idea? Like, is it, is it a good idea to go over there? We don't even have protection for pants anymore. I kind of want my revenge. But at the same time, I don't know how badly I really want that revenge. That sweet, sweet revenge. I know I just I just need to be more careful, I guess. Oh, and I lost all my gold blocks. It's like, what? But I guess I can get those back here in a second. Not all of them, but some of them. And that was like the only thing really notably that we got. Oh yeah, we, I guess we lost our templates too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> not a big fan of the, uh, not a big fan of these, I guess. Only because I guess I'm bad and I died. It's not fair for me to say that I don't like them because I just, uh, just low skill. Hmm. But I think like, geez, those guys have a lot of health. Yeah, dude, I'm getting wrecked. I'm out of here. I know it's because I have my elytra on, but like there's, there's, let's just not, let's just not do that. Okay, I'm going to fly back to my base or try to, I don't know where it is, but I'll find it. Hold on. Well, I'm lost, but I found another bastion, so I guess we'll go in it. Maybe it's not the wisest idea to go, oh, there's see two chests off the rip and a double chest. This might make it easy to fight them too. I don't think they can get to me right here. Oh, they can't. Oh, I, dude, I'll be cheeky with it. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I don't know how speedrunners handle these. I, I really don't know. I don't know how speedrunners do this. Are we like okay? Oh wow, a whole. Wow. Okay. Actually, that's not exactly what I thought it was, but it's fine. Curse of vanishing. Gee, thanks. I don't I don't need an iron block. Yeah, none of this stuff is good. The curse of vanishing, you can't I don't even think you can rip that off of the pickaxe. It's not worth taking at all. Um nor do I know if there's more to this or not. I don't even know how I could like figure that out. 
I also don't like the fact that I can't fly away if I get in trouble. I mean, maybe there's more to this thing, but like... No, this is the top of it. I don't know, was there anything on top of it? I can kind of easily get on top. No, not really. I don't know if you can hear, but it's like sleeting. I know I already said that, but it's kind of cool. It is the winter, but it wasn't even supposed to rain today, so I don't know. It's been some weird weather this year. Weird weather everywhere, really. Is there more to these? Like, I, I don't know anything about bastions. I don't know about the different types or sizes or... And I hear more stuff. But if something went in this little path here, it would just wreck me. So maybe not do that. Here's something over here. Okay. Okay. Let's be somewhat smart about this. If we can. Uh, is this the same kind I was at before? With just like the, the weird caves that are filled with gold but nothing that we actually need? I think so. Okay, well, we're not going to mess with this. I really have zero interest in getting gold. I'm going to make a gold farm. I legitimately don't know where our house is. Like, I have no idea. Oh, why do these keep appearing? I guess we just got to go near zero, zero, and we'll find it. If I can, like, see any external chests, like, I don't mind running and grabbing them. But, like, these things are just so high risk. And the reward, I guess, is the uh, the upgrade piece. But I don't even know. Do you, do you does that is that consumed for each? Surely that's not consumed, and surely it's not like super rare. Otherwise, it'd be super hard to get netherite. And I would hope that it isn't. See, like he can't get to me here. Okay. Bow have knockback, or is it just going crazy? Oh, it's punch too. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is the same kind of loot room. Soul speed three. I will take a golden apple though. So I'm like taking a minute to process everything. Oh, and a gas. That's great. Ha ha. Does someone want to explain? Did the gas fireball go through the wall? Hey, at least we can take care of these guys. Like, dang it. At least we can take care of these guys like super easy now. There we go. I think that's all we needed. Right? Smithing table, netherite upgrade. Oh, I'll take 12 gold carrots. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all we need. I don't know how much more of my luck I want to really push here. This does look like one of those really good ones, but like... Is there even a purpose? Maybe we'll come back when we have netherite. We'll come back when we have netherite. Goodbye. I've got to figure out how to get home. <laughs> so I'll come back, I guess, when I've figured it out. I don't know. I think it's over. I think I just flew too far this way. We'll see. Yay! I found it! Runway! We need a nice runway at our house. That would be cool. That would be cool. I remember we had a runway at some point and at some world. I don't remember when, but that was very nice. That was a nice world. Sometimes I do things and I don't know why I do that. Why are we leaving? <laughs> we didn't get any netherite. We got, we got no netherite. Okay, let's at least let's at least deposit like the rare items that we have because this needs to go in there, and then materials. Oh, we lost the other. Oh no, we didn't. It's in there. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Uh, I say glowstone's fairly rare. This is definitely can go over there. Um, is there anything else in my inventory I want to put up? Um, uh, no. I, I don't, I don't want any of this stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't need this in my life. Okay. There's a hole there now, but it's okay. As long as these get put back up, then we're fine. And they are put up. We are now fine. Okay, so we got to figure out a place. And I was thinking... In this direction? No, there's still lava. But there's not as much lava over here to the left. 
So maybe we'll try digging down. Is there enough? Is there lava in this way? Not really. So I think what I'm going to try doing is digging like over here. Because I'd like to be able to access our netherite mine somewhat easily. I think she's barking at cats. Gotta go tell her no barking at them kitties. Hold on. Dog secured. I think. Maybe she's done barking. We shall see. Okay, and now we just need to dig down to a low Y level. What depth, I do not know, but I will dig. And, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I want to mine in this area because I'm pretty sure the biome behind this is all that basalt delta stuff. Is it? Because if it is, I'm not mining there. Uh, no? But it looks like this is all lava. Yeah, we don't want to mine there. Hmm. I'm trying to find a spot that doesn't have a big... Because the lava pools oftentimes stretch all the way to the bottom of the world. And also, if you try to mine in this biome right here, the TNT does not break very much. I do apologize. You're going to have to hear the puppy. I can't... I can't not... She can't not play. She has to play. Dog equal play. Uh, and even, is this like a double what in the world? Why is it purple? I don't even know. <laughs> I have no explanations. Oh, it's making it so hard to see with the fire. Come on. Why is the fire tick gotta be so long sometimes? Really? Uh, maybe in this direction. I don't know. The nether is just tricky, but I don't want, I don't want it to be so far away. I don't, I'll figure it out. Hold on. Nice. Okay. I dug in the original spot and I'm glad I did because it seemed to have worked out. Now, I don't know at what depth I should do this at. I feel like people tell me, I don't know. We'll just kind of play around with it. We'll see at what level TNT appears to uh, work the best on. So we'll try like 10, maybe 11. Because I accidentally placed a block in the wrong spot. We'll try 11. So I'll just dig a little bit of a path. Oh no. Wait. Nope. Just temporary. Okay. We'll dig. Oh no. I hope it's all netherrack. I'll dig like a long path. See, that's the stuff you can't blast through very well. And then it kind of messes up. Oh no. Dog bark. We'll try like this much. Something like this. It's a pretty long path. Do I see lava dripping? I do see lava dripping. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> this is not. This is not working out how I thought it would. That's super unfortunate that there's lava right there. But hey, maybe it's just a small amount. Maybe it's just a small amount. And it's not a lot of lava. Should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do just a single line of TNT. I'll, I'll, I'll do it like this, so maybe we'll have a few extra pieces, and then we'll come back, blow it up, see what we get. All right, let's let her rip. I hope that we can get far enough away, please. Oh no. Oh, why do I see so much lava, brother? Okay, just a little bit of lava. I see two ancient debris, so this is a win. Because sometimes you'll do a super long one, and you literally won't find any ancient debris. So I'll take it where I can get it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got a little bit of netherrack from that. So let's see. Can we traverse without dying? Um, I don't see any up there. It's always tricky, because sometimes you'll miss it. And sometimes you'll... What? Excuse me, sir. Why are you... Why are you in here? Oh, because there was a one piece of soul sand. And he was in the right biome. So he's like, oh, this is a good spawn point. Kaploot. Kaploot. Is there another one? No. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, bad decision, bad decision. Pill her up, pill her up. If you ever make a bad decision in Minecraft, just pill her up. You'll be fine. I thought that was ancient debris. It's not. 
But there is one piece here, and good news, it can spawn diagonally. So there might be another one. No, there's not another one. It is what it is. And it can't burn either, so that's always a good that's always a good thing. Okay, and then we can glide over to this one. We gotta deal with these guys. I shouldn't have shot them, but I did. Now I've gotta lay in the bed that I've made. Can't burn, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Too much. Oh. <laughs> I know it can't burn, but I guess it can just go into it and not come out. might be done for today I don't know where this netherite went but I'm gonna get it back we have one. Oh, we got it we got it we got it it was just right there okay but it wasn't floating um, I don't know if we can go any further in here I don't I don't think we can we got to go a different direction which is fine it's all good you still hating me no they forgot already what <laughs> Interesting. I hesitate to go in any direction in this in this literal hellscape of an area, but we'll go we'll go we'll, we'll go this way. Okay, 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 okay. Bro, my luck right now. <laughs> Maybe I'm just in a bad mood now, I don't know. But I feel like my luck right now is just not not in my favor. It, uh, this is gonna bite me in the booty anyways. Did I? Oh, I did break the source. Okay. You thought you had me, but you didn't. You didn't, and we're good. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. 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 Nope. Not doing. Not. Nope. 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 We're gonna find a new spot. <laughs> I think. I think for for everyone's sanity, we're going to find a new spot. This one is just no, no. I need more. I need more boombox. What? I thought okay. I thought something random just pushed me, but it was the shulker box. We're okay. We're okay. All right. Can we fly out of here? Potentially, yes. Okay, let me reconvene. I don't know where to go to mine, but we'll find somewhere. So we found two. I don't know when, but remember we found two, yeah, in the bastions. But I'm afraid that's definitely not enough. Yeah, this is like all lava lake. It's so weird. I, I know there's a lot of lava lakes in the nether, right? But usually there's some areas that give you a little bit of reprieve that are better to mine in. Hmm. Let me go... Oh, wait. Okay, okay. This is the spot, right? In that direction. Please be the spot. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the low level. Okay. I think this is a long enough path. Oh. I, I, so originally I went in the same direction, right? That we were digging the staircase. And I hit lava. I about lost it. And then I turned this way, and so far this way is doing much better. So we're going to take out our living box, in quotes, you know, because this is so living. TNT is just the most living thing that ever lived. And we're going to jam pack it full. We're going, we're going all the way full, baby. I'll come back in a bit when I'm done. Okay. This should be good. It should be good. I'm gonna go down in this direction a little bit. I'm kind of scared. Oh, baby! Oh, baby, that's a good one. Oh, I see so much. And it's still going. And there's so much lava! But it's okay. This, this little three piece right here made up for all of this lava. And it looks like 12 or 13 is definitely the way to go. And I don't know if this is two separate veins of it, but that's exceedingly rare. Like, exceedingly rare. I I doubt we're going to get to make everything netherite. Oh, dude, there's two more up there. Let's go. I doubt we're going to get to make, like, everything netherite that we want to. 
right now. Another one, dude. Our luck is kind of turning. Now, before I go any further, I want to make sure. I feel like I put it in the rare items. No, did I actually put it in the resources? I did, okay. So we have eight right now. And it's four purse. That's two things. Oh, I thought I lost one of the shulkers. I was like, no. It's good that they fill up a row. The way you kind of know you aren't losing one. Um, I just want to keep this in my inventory. Maybe that's actually... Actually, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe just keep them as far away from our inventory as possible. That would probably be the smart move. Not to take everything we have out. But two... <clears throat> it's already rare enough to find... More than one, but two. And then there's one right over here. Kind of killing the game now. A little bit at least. Oh, it's two again. No way. The game's like, hey, I'm sorry for repeatedly screwing you over, man. Here's some. Uh... Oh, and they had Feather Falling 4. Oh, we need to get new boots. We're doing that before the end of the episode. We're doing that before the end of the episode. To make sure I'm not stepping in any lava here. Okay, this looks like a single, but I'll take a single over a n nothing -ol. A noddle. Maybe it's more than one and I can't see it. Nope, that's a one. <coughs> so we already have five more. Oh, there's another one. Well, this might have been the most fruitful string of TNT that I've ever used. Because usually, you know, you get like one or two and it's kind of frustrating. But maybe they made it more common in 1.20. I mean, I, I don't recall seeing that as a change, but... It's also just statistics. Sometimes you find more, sometimes you find less. Well, I, you guys have seen people mine for netherite a million times. I'm going... Oh my gosh, again. I'm going to... Oh my gosh, a double! That's not actually a double, it's completely separate, but two next to each other. I'm just going to keep going down this line. This does seem like a decently good line. And uh, I guess I'll come back like when I'm blowing up the next one. Because I don't think you want to see me like dig a hole and place it. That's no fun. It's fun to see what you uncover. That's the fun part. At least for me. It's like the grand reveal. Okay. Any more? If there is more, I don't think I can see it. There's a curtain of lava here. Uh, maybe around over here. Worth a check, worth a peek. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue this thing. I'm going to go up to like Y13. I think is where I was at. Or 12 or something. We'll try 13 this time. That's what I like to see. And I also quieted all the loops. I just looked up loop. It still plays like a few scary noises. But... Is it is that underwater loop? Is that what's is that what keeps playing? Is it playing the underwater loop? So look, there's noises called loops. Is it playing those? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like an underwater loop. But we just found two more. Make sure there's not more in here. Just kind of randomly. It sounds like underwater loops. No, it's still playing the sounds. I don't know. We'll do... Hold on. Let me fill this thing up. Oh, we're on a run, baby. No lava! Nice. Oh, yeah, dude. I just combined all... We have 17 ancient debris already. So that's one, two, three, four. One piece. Two pieces. Three pieces. Four pieces. And then we're working on the next one. Dude, we're kind of cooking. We actually get the boots back this episode too, and this this episode can be a net positive. It still is. We still got mending on everything, but we definitely had our uh, trials and tribulations. That's for sure. Okay, there should be enough lava. Uh, I guess we'll fill it in like all the way to here, and uh, go back a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, a little bit of lava. Oh, a lot of lava. Run, 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 run. <laughs> it's like the old lava fall maps. Uh, okay. 
I don't know. I think there was some ancient debris in there. Um, I don't. I don't think we're getting it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're getting that ancient debris. No. 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 I. I. I so we can call that one a loss. Hey, we already were super lucky. So this just looks like a bunch of lava pools. Wow. Man, maybe I need to like mine lower, but I feel like I'm already mining really low. Is this really how Mojang intends you to mine for uh, ancient debris? Just kind of struggle through uh, lava pools and then hope you get lucky. And I mean, I don't know. We had we had really good luck at the beginning. Yeah, this is like straight lava pools. Uh, hey, let's go. There's probably a lot more just up there hidden. Oh, hey, a three fur. Hey, that makes up for all the lava pools, baby. Let's go. I will take that. If only you could preview an ender chest by just like ho holding your mouse over it. I'm paranoid that we've lost. We have, yeah, we have all these. Okay. Hopefully this one lands where I can get it. Okay. That is, okay, another one. Nice. So now we have one. So this would be <clears throat> all the armor is four. And then we can do one tool, which is the pickaxe. I'd like to do one more tool, which is the sword. The other things I'm okay with foregoing for now. But that means we need what? Three more pieces. We can do that. Uh, we definitely have enough TNT to do three more pieces. But do we have the will to navigate these lava pools? Yeah, we'll be fine. It's not that bad. It's just frustrating when you waste all the TNT. See, because I bet there is a bunch of ancient debris hidden. I threw my golden carrots, but whatever. We'll call that a uh, a casualty, a war casualty. Ugh, okay. Oh, oh, oh! Thank you, Minecraft. I love you sometimes. I'm sorry. I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. I get so frustrated with you sometimes. You're trying your best. There we go. That's what I like to see. That is a very successful mining operation. Like, that is just, it, by all counts, a very successful mining operation. And it still goes even further. I guess, you know, we could go for a netherite shovel. Just kidding. Go for an axe. Okay, there's another piece. Another piece. Dude. This might be a twofer. We're actually getting, like, kind of lucky. I mean, I... We, like, it's pretty rare to find... Okay, that one's definitely not... Oh, I need that feather falling. Oh, it's a two. Let's go. Hey, that means we just need one more piece. <gasps> Yay, dude. We can have a sword. Oh, dude. This makes me so happy. I'll go get a bunch of levels in the end. And then um, we'll make we'll make the sword. Okay. <laughs> I'm good on that. I'm good on that. Now, to get out of here might be a little bit tricky, but it's okay. Is that like my most used word while commentating is tricky? Hopefully in the future AI is so smart it can just like watch all my videos and then give me a word count based on how many times. You know, someone could like make a deep fake of my voice now so easily. Like there's so many hours of me talking. Like it, it would be able to do it very, very well, which is kind of scary, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so this would be the sword, the pickaxe, all the armor, and then one more thing. You can't do a bow, but maybe we'll do the axe or something. I don't know. Dude, let's go. Let's go. We got it all. Now, this may be a dumb question, but can you fly through lava? Should I risk that? I mean, I, I, know, I know the answer, but... Wouldn't it be cool to fly through lava? We're just going to dig up like this. I, I don't even quite remember how to get to where I was. So, based on that knowledge... I mean, we have a little bit more TNT. We might as well rip it. Like, we, we have, like, a decent bit more. We might as well just rip it. I don't know how much more we really have, but... We'll just rip little bundles here and there. See what we can get. Ah, I just sneezed. Sorry. I get a little something in here? No, but I, I get a little something in this direction. 
Maybe we should just like mine back in the way that we were going. Can't hurt, right? Just, you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna do a big ripper. Oh yeah. I'm gonna click as fast as I can. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of side TNT. Just to show him what's good. Keep sneezing, man. Got them allergies. Got them allergies. Yes, I see you, buddy. I got a, I got a kitty on my lap. Uh. Oh no. Okay, we're safe. Oh, see, there's a twofer right in the middle, and then another one, and then. Uh, it's the lavas. The lava is just out to get me. <laughs> I think it's our sign. It, I think we should take our luck. Oh, hey. I think we should take our luck and just uh, bounce out of here. Yeah, I mean, I could try to go up in there and like get that, but nah. I don't. Nah. <laughs> maybe, maybe if we mine in this direction, can we? Can we? Can we go this way? We have a little bit more TNT. Hey! I'll take that any day. I'll take that any day. Okay, okay. Well, might as well just rip this a little bit and see what we get. Maybe this is how they want you to mine. Haphazardly so. so. I guess TNT gives you the experience from blocks that it breaks that drop experience. I think that was a newish change. Like, somewhat new. Cause that's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely useful. I like do this. Oh, <laughs> I guess I get hit by gravel. I need to make sure and like repair that, like as soon as I possibly can. I don't really know how helpful that is to do. Having it go up like that. Let's just hide over here. Okay. Oh, well, surprisingly, there's no lava. Hey, ancient debris that we uncovered in our main, our main thing. There's just one. We need one more, and then we can do, like, pretty much everything into netherite. That would be cool. Just from one trip, too. Jeez. I mean, usually my luck, I didn't want to go do this for the longest time, because my luck is usually just so bad. Also, okay, first of all, wait. We have the world's best trash can, a big lava pit. Goodbye. The good thing is if you throw out your netherite accidentally, it doesn't burn. I guess that's one positive. Okay. Uh, we, we could just stack this. I mean, 30 ancient debris is crazy. That's crazy. Do we still have any in here? Oh, oh, oh. we we got to rip the rest of this, dude. Come on. We, we got to get the living. We got to get the living chest back. Also, you know, another thing that I was just thinking of. Why in the world do we have this stuff out? We don't we don't need to have this stuff out and potentially lose it when we don't like let's just n negate that risk entirely. You know what I mean? Like why have this stuff out and potentially lose it when you could just store it in the ender chest that's literally an invulnerable inventory? Like, that inventory is forever. It doesn't ever disappear. And I guess I could just go all the way back in this direction. I mean, depending on if it, um... Uh... If there's a lava lake, like, right next to it, which I don't think there would be. Oh, yeah. Oh! Stop! <laughs> Hold the presses! The kitty is left. I am too loud. Okay, let me fill this bad boy up. Okay, I'm impatient. Uh, it's only a little bit more. Okay, let's be careful with that. Oh my gosh! That one came right back at my face. Nice, there's almost no lava. Oh, let's go! Yo, dude, I think we can come out of this with a netherite shovel. <laughs> I can't- I can't remember if I've ever had a netherite shovel. Like, I don't- I don't know if that's like... 
a faux pas to make a netherite shovel, like, you shouldn't do that. That's a waste. But if you have the stuff, you might as well do it. And I really hope that those upgrade tablets aren't one-time use. If they are, then I'm kind of in a world of hurt. But to my knowledge, like, the armor trim and stuff like that is not, like, one-time use. But I will, I will say this. Those armor trims are the most single, well, single most useless thing they've ever added into Minecraft for single player worlds. You don't ever, no one's playing like this. You know what I mean? Like, maybe like Skyblock, you know, your PvP in or something. Like, you're not, you're not playing like that. <clears throat> so being able to color your armor is great for in multiplayer. That's so cool. Like, it, it genuinely, like, that's, that's, I mean, what? No, I'm trying to press F3. What does it think I want? Uh, I, I don't know if it's like intended for multiplayer only, but like, I don't know. That's why I haven't really done that because I don't care. <laughs> like I don't, I, I, I never get to see my own armor. So I don't see the whole point because it doesn't benefit you. It just changes the color of the armor. Like if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It, I, I guess it doesn't interest me. Maybe for some people it does. I don't know. Maybe this won't hurt me. Hey. I don't even know why we're getting netherite at this point. We don't need it. We have so much. I guess just a flex, because I've never gotten, like, a stack. Oh, that's a two up there, too. I can't say I've ever gotten a stack of netherite. I know this is ancient debris. I just call it netherite because it's made into netherite. I guess it's like calling iron ore iron. Would you do that? Right? Like you do that. You 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 say, "Hey, I found iron." Not, "Hey, look, I found some iron ore." You say, "Hey, I found iron." Right? <clears throat> I've been talking so long. My voice is going hoarse. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think we're gonna use the rest of this TNT unless. Oh, okay. And, and, and unless we do like a really big explosion, like one of those ones that you just don't need to do and they're unnecessary, like something like this. God, I love that. And then you like fill it up to the brim. Should we do something like that? Would there be a point? Not, not really, but I'm going to do it. Okay, I don't know what the effect of this is going to be, but I assume it's going to be big, so I'm going to back up a little bit. It's all big lava. Like. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, well, wait, if I go up this way, am I just going to hit a lava lake? Maybe we should go back up this way? Can we even do that? Is that permitted? Good sir? I do not know. We're gonna go make... Okay, I'm hearing things that are alive, so I'm gonna assume that I can go up this way? No, 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 no. You see, that's not what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're good. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you burned me. If I ever get a mod for this world, it's going to be something that makes fire ticks just not last as long. I, I, I guess because sometimes they can kill you, but most of the time, once you have stuff, it's just like really annoying. Okay. All right. And I believe back home is, I don't know, this way. We're going to guess this way. Is it this way? Yeah, because I guess the nether fortress is right there. Well, wait. I don't know. I'll find home. Okay. I found home. Target acquired. Let's get out of here and never come back. That's my plan. Get out of here. Never come back. Done. Bye-bye, Nether. I love you, but I'm probably never coming back. See ya. Bye. Okay. Please be a day. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So, straight to the blast furnace. Then to the end to get some more... We have 37. That's actually crazy that we have that much. Oh, wait, wait. I think I think we need to <laughs> I think we need to take a thumbnail picture with that because that's crazy. Uh. 
Oh, there's stone, there's sand and coal in there. See, that? I'm never going to find that. Like, why did I put that in there? I don't know exactly where to take this screenshot, but I will take this and this. We'll put them back eventually. Where did the other one go? What? Oh, went in the corner. Okay. We'll put it back eventually. I just I, I want those and I want to go to my new base. I, I love I love the new base. I need to take No, we do have a bed in there. We do have a bed. I'll be I'll I'll meet you there in a second. I know when I've arrived I hear the beacon because I'm like on my phone and stuff, you know. I hear the beacon going So we'll fill up because this would just be a cool looking picture. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll fill it up where there's like Ancient debris and then a dungeon. I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe we'll just fill up a dungeon down here And have like amethyst in the background well, What would be a cool thumbnail? I don't know. I'll figure it out then come back. Okay thumbnail is taken You saw it in the thumbnail <coughs> Let's smelt this stuff go get an absolute ton of XP. I gotta say it's very satisfying mining this stuff again Even with efficiency 5 and haste 2. It's pretty slow. But it is some nice looking stuff. It would make for a really nice wall texture. No, 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 no. That's a little bit too rich for my taste. And uh, we're going to need a lot of tinted glass. So I, I, But I think we'll have to destroy this geode because I think it's in the middle of our house. Unless we like reconstruct it. But we've already broken so much of it. I think we're just going to... I think we're just going to take the L on this geode. There is that small little tiny one that's near our base. See, I'm already calling it our base. Oh, it's gonna it's our new base, man. It's our new base. <sighs> okay, so Yep, 37. Okay. And let's deposit that into our you, you see I removed this wall because it was in like a bad area. Oh yes, I need to take off my uh full bright resource pack. That's just there for thumbnails. Because it makes thumbnails so much better. I don't know why it took me so long to get one. Seems like every big YouTuber out there has it. So we'll do half and half. Okay. And I think we have a permanent ender chest in here. We just need to go into resources and grab some gold. Don't need very much, but just grab out a good bit. That's way too much, but it's okay. It's all good. And then we get to put them, uh, we get to put them back into that, which is going to be nice. That'll be a very satisfying feeling to fill this with netherite ingots. Cool. Okay, I'll come back when this is done. That's so much already, jeez. Wait, is it three per or four? Okay, it's four, okay. And we, we don't have enough gold either, okay. I mean, we have enough, but we didn't make enough. I thought for a second it might be three, and I was like, wait, we just made so much. And there is our last piece, let's go, okay. Nine. Netherite ingots. That's crazy, dude. So that's four for the armor, right? And then five for the tools. I don't even think we have five useful tools, do we? I mean, we have. Okay, let's 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 count them out here. So we have the bow, which we can't do. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's not even five. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> that we have too much. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the end. I'm gonna get a bunch of XP. And then I'm going to come back in a bit. As we just need a bunch of XP. There's not really anything exciting about to happen. Um, I guess we can put this back in here. Not the best spot for it, but it works and it fits. It works and it fits. Okay. I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go... Not keeping this in there, that's for sure. Maybe we put it in the resources where it's supposed to go. Yeah. The rarest of the rare, baby. Let's go! Now, I found this marker. I don't know what this was marking. Maybe it was the big iron vein? Does anyone remember what this marker... Oh, I can't land on it. Does anyone remember what this marker was for? I don't know at what point... We dug something... I don't know what we dug. What? Oh, it's just a really big cave. Okay. I th th probably cave. Probably this is the part of the same cave that leads us all the way 
to uh, our uh, new base, I assume. Seems like a very large cave structure. Okay. Going to get to XP. For the boots. I think, right? Yeah, because we want Feather Falling 4 and Protection 4. Man, I had even taken my headphones off and we were all good. I'm going down the path. And I guess I was going a little too hot. I had the sound off, I was just chilling, about to watch some YouTube, kill some Enderman. And I fall. I really need to put an Ender chest here. <sighs> okay, I'll come back when I have XP, but that was definitely kind of funny. So like, when I'm playing here, I always have my sound off. There's like no point in keeping it on. We have a lot of XP, I wanna to get to level 60, and then we'll go make some boots. Give my uh, voice box a little bit of a break. Might need to invite a few more Ender friends. Yes. I mean, it's absolutely crazy how fast they spawn. Like, they spawn, like, literally as fast as the game will let them. I I don't know, man. It must be some new mechanic or someone figured it out. I can't remember the YouTuber that made it. Whenever I made this thing originally, you'll see the thumbnail. It was the episode that came out Friday. But, I, I, I again, I'm sorry that I haven't produced as much content lately. Life is just, as you know from yesterday, it's just been, it's just been weird. Um, and not in a good way. Uh, you know, Hazel's been great. You know, she's helped me get through a lot of this. And my wonderful wife, Lauren. So, very thankful for the people and friendly animals I have in my life around me and my family. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I apologize. So, hopefully this helps make up for it. You know, this is like, what, five hours of content? Oh, no, I didn't have a bed. It's okay. It's like five hours of content in one episode? It's pretty good. Or not in one episode, sorry, in one uh, in one weekend. It's pretty good. I at least I think Friday's episode was an hour long. I really don't remember, but I do know. You know, I'm gonna go check. Yep, it was indeed an hour. So this is like five hours. I mean, depending on how long this one is, it might be like six hours of, you know. And, and a usual YouTuber could spread that out for like I don't know. I mean, with the amount of things I do, it really it is like three episodes, but. Six hours of uh, recorded footage, most YouTubers. And I'm not trying to say I'm better. I'm just saying I make videos in a different way. They would make that like, you know, six or seven episodes, but not me. Also, ah, oh, you know what I just realized? Dude, I don't think we have any diamonds. <laughs> no, I mean, we look, I don't want to take what's off these boots because of that depth strider. But I'm like pretty certain we don't have enough diamonds even for one pair of boots. Back to the mines, baby. Back to the mines. And luckily, on my way here, I'm going to take the boom box out with a little bit. I still got some more in me. I'm going to go to the gym immediately after I end this, but I still got some more in me. You know, I, I have a limit for how much I feel like I can record in one day without making a low quality video. That's why I don't, I, you know, I used to do daily uploads and like, nah, dude, it, it, they weren't as good as when I'm recording when I want to. And thank God for Neo Network for saving that part of YouTube for me. You know, it started to turn into a job for a while, and that was not, it's not, it was not, I didn't start YouTube with the intention of being a job. When I started YouTube, there was only like maybe five people in the world that did this as a job, right? It wasn't even a thought or an option. I knew, you know, you could make a little bit of money from it, but I never intended for this to be like something I was going to do for a living, ever. Like that, that seriously, it was not a thing when I started. Like it really wasn't. So the fact that I get to just kind of do this again for just pleasure and, you know, having my community with me is really, really, it is a special feeling. So I'll run around down here. We'll, we'll, we'll record a little bit of it. We're just trying to find diamonds. I mean, we're not, we're not doing anything crazy. We've already done this once in the episode. I mean, heck, we may even strip mine, you know? I mean, I, I think we've already been through this cave. I doubt we've been through all of it, but we've definitely been through this cave. And if we were going to strip mine, we probably should have done it near our haste two beacon. Probably would have been the wisest decision, but it is what it is. Um, we'll dig down to like as low as you can go until I hit like the first layer of bedrock. And we'll mine like right around there. Okay, I'm gonna mine for a bit. See if I can find some diamonds. We'll just do some classic strip mining. Okay, I, I just had a crazy idea. You know how we have that extra TNT? I've never really like done this in the overworld and I think there's a good reason because it isn't really effective but maybe we should maybe we should do this because I've already stripped mine for like a little bit so we have little tunnels that we could like stick the TNT in because I know like stone has a much higher blast resistance and especially deep slate 
So I don't think it's super effective, but I assume we can find one little vein of diamonds. But if we hit a lava pocket, I'm ending the episode right here. If we hit a lava pocket, I'm done. The chances of that are super rare. So uh, there's no way that can happen, right? Like, there's just no way. Um, and then, of course, we'll fill up the middle. I, again, like, I have no basis for, you know, how effective this is. I, I really don't know. Kind of curious to see it, though. I've literally never done this in the overworld, except maybe on, like, creative a long time ago. Uh, definitely not with this. Deep slate stuff. Okay. Uh. Okay, it didn't kill me. Thank God. Oh, there's a cave here. Oh, that's actually, like, a lot more effective than I thought it would be. But there's no diamonds. <laughs> um. <laughs> There are actually no diamonds in here? I mean, it, it drops everything that it breaks, so there might be some diamond ore on the ground. Did I really not find any diamonds? I feel like diamonds are even more common than uh, deep slate. Man, that actually did do a number. We still have a little bit of TNT. I kind of want to do it again. Yeah, it definitely doesn't drop everything that it breaks. I think the TNT, if it explodes near a drop, you know what I mean? It'll actually like break the drop. I think that's what happened. So we'll dig this much. I don't know exactly how much that is, but I'm gonna put this on just for safety's sake. Huh, yeah, I, I figured we would have found a, you know, at least a diamond, you know what? I bet we're gonna find one right here. Could we cave and do this quicker? Maybe, but um, I've had enough caving for one episode, so we'll, we'll do it the fun way. Diamonds? Please? Oh, please? No diamonds? Brother. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna strip mine. I'll try this one more time. Film blowing it up and see what happens. Hey, diamonds! I was gonna say, one diamond and a vein. Two diamonds? That's it? Brother. I don't know how much we need, but we need more than that. I don't know how much we need, but I know we need more than that. Okay. This should be big enough to fill up. Probably. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, and I think there's some deep slate diamond ore in my chest in my new house. Well, I, ha I hesitate to call that a house, but I know that there is some in there, so we can we can use that, too. If we don't get any from this. This will be my last resort. Oh. Ow! I don't... I don't know how effective in reality this is, but it sure is fun. And that counts for a lot, okay? It does count for a lot. Fun is important. Oh. See, what if you didn't have? Is there a way you can fall into bedrock if you don't have a block and be stuck forever? I feel like that would be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> you didn't have one block. You couldn't mine one. Yeah, this is super weird that there's like no... I mean, usually you'd think you'd find them fairly quickly in like a cave this big. If you were this low, you probably would have found them. I'll mine for a little bit more because I, I know that we don't have enough deep slate to get it. So it's fine. I don't mind. Okay, I'm back from my uh, mining descent and we found 12 in total. So that's pretty good. Not the best, but it's pretty good. Uh, you can get a bunch from each because we have fortune on one pickaxe. Ema tools chest out the seven dungeons pickaxe that is apparently uh, too expensive to add mending to, but that's okay. Please give us a lot. We need a quite a bit. Nice. I'll take 30 diamonds. That's fine with me. Uh, okay, so put up the seven dungeons, put up the tools chest so we don't mess around and lose it. And then we'll make like, to start off with like three sets of boots and then we'll just kind of go crazy. We only have 60 levels, so we can't do this forever. Uh, that's not great. Not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. And not what we're looking for. Okay. Well, not off to the best start, but it is what it is. What? What is that? I thought it would just do two at once, not destroy one of them. What on earth is that? Oh, that's terrible. Dude, come on. Well, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Just four diamonds down the drain. Kind of surprising that it just keeps giving us the same protection for. Okay, so we want to keep those. 
And now we just want to work with this pair here. Because uh, if any, I mean, we, we need to go get another book amending. That's not a problem. I really want that feather falling, but I'm a, I don't know if you can get feather falling from this by itself or not. Fire protection three. So we have protection four and breaking three. And the depth strike three, but I want that feather falling. I, I don't think you can get feather falling from this. I mean, blast protection four. Like, no. I don't know. We have one more chance. If we can't get the feather falling, it's okay. I'll just uh, take note that we can't fall as far as we want. Yeah, we didn't get it. That's okay. We'll put this extra one in the tools chest. I really need to move these ladders. Like, they're in such a weird spot. Uh, so we'll open up our tools chest. We will put these into there just in case we ever need them. These have protection four and breaking three, so we can add these together. And then we'll add mending. So that's 18, that's 12. So protection four instead of no protection, and I'm breaking three and depth strider three. Okay, so let's go add mending to these bad boys. And while we have this open, we need to grab this so that we can make a smithing table. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that netherite is more enchantable. So maybe we should have tried it with like just raw netherite boots. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll keep the smithing table out. Um, put this up. Put this up. And then put the wood up. I'm getting good about all the, the inventory sorting here, actually, which is nice. And then I guess for the tools chest, we should probably put the flint and steel back in there. Use that quite a bit today. Quite a bit. Okay. Let's go get a single book of mending, which should be pretty easy, which means we gotta open up our wood chest one more time. Uh, it might end up going through all this. Jeez Louise, dude. Okay. Okay, that's all of them, because the row is filled. Okay. Over to my trading area. Now, they should give me a good deal. I think it's like 31 sticks now for an emerald. I think that's the deal. Oh, also, remember when I said I was going to be upset at myself for leaving the books? Well, at least I remembered before I started this. The books are in here. The books are in here. Where am I going? You know, I'm at that point. I'm at that point. Um, I don't know what I hope to find in there. Maybe my, my long lost stuff. My long lost stuff. This is definitely not enough wood. Actually, maybe for one book. It's like 13 emeralds, I believe. And one of you is gonna give me a good deal, right? Is it you? No, it's still 32. Okay, well, we, we, we got enough for one. That's really all we need. Um, but I'd like to get like a few more. Okay, 21 emeralds, we'll take it. Oh. You know what? That's probably good. <laughs> if I went any faster, I might have died. Alrighty. Grab a book of mending. It's 14. Okay, nice. One book of mending. And now uh, we don't have enough. So let's open this up. Grab the resources chest. Put the emeralds in there. Put the books in here. And then... Take out the netherite scrap. Take off all the armor. And... We need the rare items chest. I believe that's where our upgrade tablet is. Okay, so this into here, and then this, and then this. It uses the whole tablet every time? Wait, so I've gotta find like 10 bastions that have those chests? I mean, I, I guess, well, I'm glad I did it on this, just in case I was kind of afraid, because this does give me, like, a lot of health. I mean, it is what it is. I, I'm not, like, that upset. It's just I thought for sure there's no way you're going to have to go find eight bastions or nine or ten or however many you're going to need to find. You're going to need to find, like, a lot. Um... Well, I can take the anvil out, and we can make the boots have mending, and then we will be good. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so mending, 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 and then mending on this as well. 
super weird. And I don't know. Mojang's made some strange decisions, like like with the villager thing. At least they kind of stepped back on that, didn't they? They were like, actually, we're not going to do that with villagers. You know, where they were going to make them like, uh, I don't know, like like you have to go to different biomes to get different enchants. They kind of walked back on that, and I think that is good. It shows that they're listening. All right, well, we can't do exactly what we wanted to with all netherite, but it looks like next episode we're going to be going to the nether quite a bit, or I'll record more on this episode later tonight. I have no idea, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and call it the end of the episode, unfortunately. I thought we'd end it with you know full netherite. That would have been cool, but it's okay. It's okay. I had a lot of fun this episode. We did a lot. We got a lot of progress done. I hope you guys recognize that. Very, very overpowered set of kit here. I mean... Mending, 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 not mending, mending. Probably should get a mending axe at some point. I'm not even gonna, nope. Not even gonna entertain you. Can you go down a ladder? Oh, I sure hope not. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll meet you guys down at the bottom of the ladder, and we'll do a little outro. All right, well, thank you for watching episode 21 or 2. I don't know which, I, I don't remember which one it is, but thank you for watching today's episode. There is diamond there, but I don't want to take that. That's too cool. We'll take it. We'll have to take it when we drill this thing out, but whatever. Secret code for today's episode is going to be 8487. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watch the entirety of today's video. Again, I appreciate you guys infinitely. Sorry for the lack of content. You guys now know why. And I'm very happy we got some banger episodes out this weekend. I feel like we're making a lot of good progress. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you again very soon in an episode. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the next day, but it'll be soon. It won't be a big delay or anything. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. We're going to go get full netherite. We're going to have to go raid some bastions and potentially die and then rage again. <laughs> All right. Bye.